boy skull now we're starting and our beautiful and our beautiful oh wait now we're starting <laughs> did you just hit record yes. no that's why i was just Are you like serious i was like half choking All on right, water sweeping, when you were just like welcome on. sweeping deck sweeping declaration the moment we get in the call just hit record <laughs> I, I, like, the conversation there's, there's is just, like, listen, my, my dog just died. Get it all. And it's like, what? Spontane <laughs> spontaneous <laughs> conversation is just. That's all podcast is just spontaneous conversation. Oh, yeah. Known, right? Hey, good morning, gamers. Good, welcome. Good morning to, to Gamer Breakfast. Get, your si get yourself a big old bowl of Gamer oh, Breakfast uh, <laughs> sponsored by nobody. My name is Jal Bagel. I, I am, and this is my co host, Skoy Skull. And we are joined by the beautiful and amazing Sarah Robin. Sarah, how the heck are you today? It answer pretty good or you're gonna attack me again? I'm pretty good. No, what? no, we're again? recording now, so now I'll behave. <laughs> you attacked me, because I said pretty good. I did. I'm fantastic. <laughs> There's the answer I want. That's, that's the one that I was, that's the one I was fishing for. Um, so if you guys don't know who Sarah Robin is, Sarah Robin is, is a fellow strummer. Uh, monster hunter variety streamer mm -hmm. we're all kind yeah. of in that, that monster hunter lull right except for me i just you know mindlessly play the game nonstop. <laughs> but we're all kind of in that monster hunter lull um sarah what have you been what have you been playing in the interim while we wait for the next monster hunter something i played the souls games i played dark souls 3 mm -hmm. i want to start securing did you beat it oh you beat it no you, i beat it i did you beat I, dlc too yes i found out to my surprise that the the monster hunter training was actually enough and like i didn't find right? it that hard it was no. like i had one problem with the first dlc sister frida dude oh sister that frida sucks that holy that shit bad. it's like you beat phase two guess so what just phase three <laughs> That's worse. Three. I'm like, okay. three is, it's just useless. I hate it. But yeah. uh, the rest of it like went pretty good. So I, I actually want to go and jump on the other souls. I want to try Sekiro as well. But you know. oh, Sekiro! Yeah, you well. playing? Oh, yeah. you, you playing Dark Souls Three has inspired me to uh, to return to it again eventually. Like Sarah, Sarah was literally in, in her Let's stream, go. and she was like, "Bagel, if I can do this, you can do this. I'm I'm Bagel. a bigger scaredy cat than you. I, if I can do it, you can do it." And I'm like, "Yeah, but I'm riddled with anxiety." <laughs> no, no, I you so know that we have <laughs> pretty much the same. We're pretty much the same level of like scaredy cats when it comes to yeah. games. You know oh, yeah. we are. Sarah so, and I are equally, we're equal cowards. Yeah, exactly. You, you get used to it. Like at the beginning, you're like scared of literally everything, but after a while, you get used to it. As soon as you why? see that your speedrunner skills are Is taking that why we all stick with effect. like one game for, really, like for a year or two, and then it's like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like now the, now the content drought of Monster Hunter World exists, right? Yeah. And then, you know, no one's really found their foothold in, in Rise and Stories isn't in a big enough game to like really make a bunch of content yeah. off of. So all the, all these Monster, uh, Monster Hunter streamers are like, oh, there's like the Tales games, like the Tales of games, Final and Fantasy there's Final Fantasy XIV, yeah. and there's all these Dark Genshin. Souls games. It's like what all came out last year? Like no one, no one remembers. And it's just like, oh my God. <laughs> There are all these yeah. games that exist. Like, I, we can play these things. I mean, like, Skyrim's yeah. coming out for the 10th time again. Like, we just, you know, everyone should just jump it's back into that. the remake of the remake of the remake. Of the remake. I actually play it for the first time and then play Skyrim. Wait, so. play, you I, play Skyrim. Do it. Yeah, I didn't have it's a good. PC, so I guess it's time. Yeah, I don't know. I would love to see your reactions for Skyrim. It's a great time, honestly. Like, you, definitely one of my favorite You actually games. would Five really you Oh, would that's really what makes it better. <laughs> Yeah, I want the bugs. I don't want the remaster. I want the original one with the bugs that send you. Oh no, they're still in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They never fixed it. Remastered means look slightly better. Oh yeah, they just retextured everything. Just be like, it's like a dumpster fire. Yeah, I I seen all the compilations. I know all the all the bugs, but never played it. So you should that that just add that to your list right now. So you so yeah. you, you've done you've done Dark Souls three. Are you gonna go and do Dark Souls one and two? I I thought about it, but I I have a problem with graphics. Like I've, I've a, been so used I. with the Monsanto, Monsanto world that has such good graphics, and I started with Dark Souls three for that reason because I knew yeah. I love the graphics a lot. Mm. And so going back to the second, the first, like I yeah. I, I seen them yeah. and it's just like. 
the, you know, know everyone gets their own enjoyment out of the game right like everyone's everyone always gets like it like graphics aren't everything it's like no graphics aren't everything but like i want to enjoy what i'm looking at and not have this eyesore you know <laughs> and gouge out my <laughs> eyes later like I, I tried to play uh dragon's dogma right like uh cups mr cups was talking about that and, mm -hmm. and when it went on sale he was like on twitter like you all need to buy this and like play oh, he it. always like, does <laughs> like every single time it goes on sale every single like... time he loves that game so oh, i was like yeah. okay cool I'll, I'll download it and i'll try it and I had like two hours the other day where I wasn't doing anything, and I was like, you know what? I'll 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 load it up and I'll try it and I'll and I'll give it a shot. And that that game, so I can see how it's a fun game. I can see how it's enjoyable. It hurts him. I know it hurts. Him. Oh oh my it's goodness, <laughs> it's it it's full of jank and it's like, uh, I remember uh because even like uh Faye Fatalis was playing it on on stream and she's like is this pr and there's like a move that's specifically just back hop and i'm like what is this game is so strange it's like this weird amalgamation of like monster hunter movement but then like skyrim it's, it's so weird it's like halo where the older games you have an ability called run <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, it's 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 so wild so i mean and i i, I tried to play that like i i have such a hard time just going back to older games too so like i, I get that like I've, I've looked at like demon souls and souls and dark souls one and i'm like i couldn't i couldn't bring myself to to endure that the funny thing is that the, even the demon souls remake i saw it and even though it's a remake they kept a lot of things of the mechanics the same and you can still mm -hmm. feel that it's old like you see the boss fight and it like compared to dark souls 3 it's like so static, it, it's clunky, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's bad. So honestly, 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 I was thinking about even to buy a PS4, a used PS4 now, because like you can find them for a hundred euros. Like, and and yeah. I have a friend who could uh, lend, uh, borrow me the, um, the the games. And I was thinking about mm -hmm. playing Bloodborne. The graphics yeah. still hold up. They're absolutely amazing. Yeah, but no, but there are a bunch of games. Bloodborne, yeah. Bloodborne came Guardian. out like the the same time as um. I think that was one of the called? selling games. Dark, Dark Souls Three, right? It came out yes. like just after Dark Souls Three, so it's like just it, before. Was before. it before? A little bit. Because I mean, those those games. Came, I remember those games came out like kind of close to each other. And oh, they did. All I know is that they. I mean, I, I think they both equally hold up like in their own. And I mean, uh, you know, Brimstone loves Bloodborne, oh, right? Like that's Bloodborne all he talks about. Like he amazing. He, it's amazing, he yeah. Oh, yeah. He wants me to play that game so badly. Have you played it, Scorpion? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I played it with Faye. Um, I think we almost beat the oh, game. Yeah. But I think we kind of just, like, put it, just left it on the back burner because it's been over a year. <laughs> you play, uh, did you play co-op? Yeah, we Together? just did co-op the entire time. I plan on doing Ooh. a single player, probably, at some point. Mm -hmm. um, but going back to... Yeah, we gotta convince... Huh? Sorry. Wait, go. We gotta convince Beagle to play Dark Souls 3. <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely. It's a, Dark, I've added I've added it back to I my list. To Dark Souls like, Three, after, I think you will genuinely love, and I think your chat will so love it too. So I started it right, like I, I started playing it, um, you know, and and watching Sarah, I was like, man, like how far did I actually get into this game? Because like a lot of the stuff that she was doing, I was like, I, I watched, I was watching her at that point, like for three or four days now, and I'm like, I still recognize all of this. Like how far did I actually get? Okay, but I was really slow at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, no, so was I though. I was really slow at the beginning. Yeah, I was scared but, of everything. But like, so I would just but like you got to like the swamp walls. You got to like that swamp area. You got to like that big castle area, like where there's like all these, all these underground dungeons, and like you fought like the big crab, and you fought the tree with testicles, and so I was oh, like, yeah, God. no, I, I I recognize all of. Them. I mean, uh, so someone told me I got about like a third of the way through the game, and I'm like kind of impressed with myself um but that was the first time that i played it on stream and you know i was like playing it every friday but i was not in filled with anxiety i don't i don't know why i see you have, like reapproach like change how i approach those games are we good yeah i was okay. i was <laughs> riddled with anxiety until there like but shortly after that part i actually started to understand the game a little bit better mm -hmm. like, i think i think it gets better when you understand that you can literally like do nothing like you can just run <laughs> if something is yeah. way too much just run you, you can do that like there is no point to stay there and fight everything unless you are a completionist that some people are but please don't be one yeah. way <laughs> that's so awesome.
<laughs> oh there he's God, back. He's ah, he's there back. Go. You good? Did you yeah. miss us? I think you're, uh, hey, let me, we can, we can cut this. Yep. We can cut your break. Okay. Um, let's, let's uh. Press zero. Weird. I don't know what on, happened. Put one of, that's why, that's why I said earlier, we good? And then it just happened again. I'm like, oh. oh yeah. And then you, and then you immediately disappeared. <laughs> ah, that's why I said we good. I didn't see. <laughs> I'm, uh. Because I watch the camera when I talk and I don't watch you guys. Unknown region. I'm going to change the region really quick. Okay. Okay. Um, so you can put a marker here, but uh, we moving to but I'm trying to pick one because you and I are both east. We can go and to like Texas really quick. It should be good now. Yeah. Yeah. Good. It's good. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I just wanted to make sure that uh that Sarah's bitrate didn't dump. They go completely dumpster. All right. We're giving off? us. Oh, where did we leave off? Okay, so. We were talking about Dark Souls 3. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't ex exactly remember. Oh, no, Sarah was saying, don't be a completionist. Oh, yeah, so she's, yeah, calling, yeah. she's calling out all of you elitists. Um, um, like, completionists in what you way? Can't, if it, so if you fight everything in Dark Souls 3, you're going to have a bad time. It, it were her words exactly. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm, I'm quoting her directly. Wow. There are some things you just don't want to kill. <laughs> I, I did that yeah, specifically yeah. so then like I would not get like any shit on me kind of thing like people would be like oh did you beat this boss so I'm like yes actually beat every single but yeah all the bosses you know you, you yeah, gotta you gotta kill oh all yeah the I beat every single <laughs> all the side bosses and everything I even that weird care. I was like yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> use just give a, shit. a bow to kill it yeah. <laughs> from a distance I don't care <laughs> Have you seen that one I don't video? Hate oh, there's this one video of like uh, a guy fighting a boss, and he climbs up a tree, and the boss is like, "What are you? What are you? What are you doing?" And it's just like, "I, uh, I collect over a thousand rocks, and I'm gonna throw them at you." And he was just like, <laughs> "What? Why? It only takes like one health." Yep. <laughs> Wait, did he kill the boss by throwing just rocks at him? It was a skit, but yeah, it was like. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to was... say that'd be that'd be hilarious. Yeah. Well, was just, I, I, oh my I, gosh. I... I killed a bunch of mini bosses, more or less like that. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but you killed hey, it. Hey, if it works, it works. Exactly. Yeah. It's part yeah, of the game. You tried the night. You tried yeah. the night at the beginning. Oh, yeah. The first one. I was like, nope. I'm just going to use this bug. He doesn't see me. <laughs> I'll be yeah. here. Oh, yeah. Make the game smarter if you. <laughs> this dude is stupid. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, have either of you played Sekido yet? No. I played a portion of it. I, just I did too. I played. Past, I played part of it. Yeah, I got I past to, the uh, the guy that keeps yelling his name. Every that everyone keeps on the me. horse. Yeah, they, everyone keeps yelling yeah. me to yeah, change the English. Win. No, I beat the butterfly boss. Oh, that's that's where I'm at right now. Yeah. So that's the I'm at I'm at a uh, like Lady Butterfly, whatever her name Such is, a and I almost. Fight. I remember I got so pissed on stream. I, so I was streaming this too, and I got so mad because I almost. I almost beat her like my first try. And then oh, so my biggest yeah. gripe about Sekiro is because of the movement, the camera fucking sucks. It? In Sekiro, it's still Dark Souls controls, which is fine. Dark Soul like targeting, which is fine. But because you have so much more movement in that game and you move around so quickly, your camera does bullshit. And I, I remember because I dodged a specific way, like I held like left and I dodged, but because she was jumping over top of me and it uses like, you know, the, the targeting system that, that Dark Souls does, she went over top of me and behind me. So me dodging left made me dodge right directly into where she was landing and it fucking killed me. And I was like in the last phase and she had like maybe three or four hits left. And I was so mad. And it was like my first attempt. I was like, I feel so good. Oh yeah, let's go I'm gamer mode right now. And then that happened. I'm like, this game fucking sucks. I hate it. I like, I had to like, <laughs> I, I like dropped my controller. I like I muted the stream. I put a BRB screen up. I put on some waiting room music and I had to go and yell at something. <laughs> I was so I'm mad. Just, I'm just imagining a cut between like the, <clears throat> the stream and then you, like a movie cut where it's just like the stream's like I gotta be right back, and then just like calm music, and then it cuts to you, and just like. <laughs> <"Aah!"> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's reason. like one of those uh it's like one of those uh like third party like camera shows like the office or something like that oh, where they're like yeah. where they're filming like through through like the window from the oh. outside you just see me inside it's completely inside but you see me inside just like just <laughs> <laughs> keyboard just like all over the place <laughs> oh my gosh man that's good that joke's gonna translate really well to audio <laughs> that's why i kind of just like oh my God, that's yeah. why i yelled out what i was doing i was just like keyboard all yeah. over the place moving hands moving hands <laughs> jazz hands <laughs> pretending to yell <laughs> you know, I, I realized like after i did that i was like huh this goes on spotify <laughs> We're, like what we meant was just like like it's streaming but from the inside like you see us yeah. screaming but you can't hear us so that's why we didn't scream or just like so it's like you it's get it, you get it. Joke, you kill it. i didn't kill the joke i was explaining it for the audio listeners okay it's true but i was just saying it for the audio oh my gosh i'm just gonna do it. this is toy's superpower by the way right I explain like, jokes Skoy, all the time Skoy knows how to take every like every piece of humor out of a joke and absorb it into himself i think that's how he keeps his youth it's 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 like my <laughs> sense of humor it makes me happy <laughs> that's your oh oh i'm gonna make you so i'm gonna make you so proud unless i fuck it up that's your 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 quirk Quirk. Right? Is that my hero? My hero oh, academia? Oh my god! Yes. You're, yeah. Yes. That's yeah. you can just suck the humor out of everything. You stay young forever. Oh yeah, <laughs> I do that. I do this on, on, on occasion. Like sometimes I just don't get the mm -hmm. joke at all, and people are just yeah. like, you know, the 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 thing. I have and to explain I'm just it. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, I've been there. I've been in that seat before. I've had to do that. A couple times, I, actually. On stream, when we're shiny. I'm still shiny hunting for the Charmander. <laughs> What number yeah, are you up to? Usually I just pretend to I just pretend to get it at some point because like, let's make that I'm just gonna we grab your clip. Happy. I'm just gonna grab your clip, mute it, and then put me in front of it and just be like <laughs> Oh perfect. <laughs> I did it yesterday on stream. Some someone What's mentioned I, I I I pretend oh. to know something. Someone mentioned uh, as sweet as shortcake. I didn't know what a shortcake was. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, sure. Definitely. Uh -huh. And then I, and then I went, wait. What is a shortcake? What if it's something <laughs> that it does not exist and they just said something randomly and I pretended to 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 get it and uh -huh. now I look stupid. <laughs> so I decided that it was time to 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 just say, okay, what's a shortcake? And to Google it. And someone pointed <laughs> out and said, wait, did you just pretend to know what a shortcake was? Sure did. <laughs> I do that with jokes all the time like, sometimes. Like I do, I do pretend to know things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then I, I laugh do. at them and then they're just like that he didn't get it, did he? And I'm like <laughs> well because you have you have a bad tell right because like you have your genuine laugh and then you have your i'm gonna laugh at it so we can progress the the conversation laugh that's why i'm trying to like practice myself to be like okay what's your fake laugh all right we're gonna transform that fake laugh into the real, laugh. <laughs> the real one <laughs> i don't i don't care i'll just i'll just be like no i don't get it <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't know what that is sorry I, next question I next question ten, i don't get it i have a lot like 10 not, i don't get it for stream if i said i don't get it at least 10 times i'm like all right from now on i'll just pretend yeah. to understand because i look dumb at the moment so i just <laughs> i'll just pretend well uh, and, and yes. i would i mean and i would say i would think this too and i mean you know stop me if this is not something that you want to talk about if this is like too personal or whatever no, very personal um, <laughs> but uh <laughs> but i i don't have this kind of like perspective especially like on twitch and like as a streamer right because you know english is my first language but mm. Italian is your first language and you are like, I mean, you, you said it before, like you aren't like the perfect English speaker, but you do like speak English really well and like understand English really well. But I would say that like, there is still like that cultural gap between understanding like English American humor and then understanding Italian humor. Okay. Most of the times when I don't understand something, I realize like second later that it didn't make sense to me. <laughs> like a lot well, yeah, of people are just as confused. And yeah, that, yeah. That, that is something that I want to say. That being said, yeah, sometimes I don't get it. Maybe maybe it's because, I don't know, they're mentioning things that are pre like just American. And mm -hmm. obviously I, I don't get the cultural reference, but I mean, most yeah. of the time, it, it's never that much. Like um, maybe it's m most of the times it's reference to like series that I didn't see or movies that I didn't yeah. see or games that I didn't play. It's mostly that, but I'm, I'm pretty... I, I literally spend most of the time on the American and English internet anyway. Yeah. So I, well, I, I would say things <laughs> like if you say target, I, would say I know what target point, is. Yeah. <laughs> I've yeah. never been there. <laughs> 
I mean, I would like, say at this point too that like Twitch culture is its own thing. It's it's very influenced absolutely. by like American humor and, and culture, right? Because oh, yeah. you know the United States is like the largest, uh, or at least North America is like the largest uh, user of the platform. So about this, I have it, it something. Makes sense. How about this? I have something to say that is very interesting. Sorry, oh wait, no, I don't want to cut you. I want to say something very interesting, which is um, inspired by. Koi here. I what? wanted to start a TikTok, right? So oh, I found yeah. out something that is very interesting, which is TikTok only shows the videos that you made to the audience that lives close to you. So mm. that was a huge problem because everything surrounding whatever I was creating was uh, extremely like based on American humor, English humor, uh, and anything that was definitely not Italian humor. Like Italian humor <laughs> is so bad. Like I, I, I don't personally like, I don't know much of it. I don't, uh, I don't know the Italian internet that much. Mm, so right. there is a, a, a big <laughs> barrier for me on that app. And, and that, that's why I, I stopped it. And I'm going to use a VPN. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> gonna use a vpn but yeah there is this problem the, the language besides the fact that i was making content in english and italian people don't really know english that much but besides that uh the humor is completely different the culture is completely different yeah like, yeah i was making a lot of gay jokes you can't make gay jokes in italy like no, nobody nobody yeah. nobody has yeah, they that don't, they don't, nobody gets that <laughs> no <laughs> Absolutely not. So yeah, I didn't even think about that. Like that's a very good point, actually. That they, like, mm -hmm. I realized because I was getting only likes from Italian people, and, uh, and I was like, "That's so weird." Oh my god, that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> and I've then never I seen for it, it on and... my for you page at all. Like, uh, so I was thinking about that, and I'm just like, huh. "That's interesting." Yeah, because yeah. I see Sky all the time, and I see you know, I mean, I obviously see you all the time, right? But yeah. you, you guys are now follows for me. Now it's yeah. private because it, it doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna yeah take those videos down, make an account that it's American, and then I'm going to repost them. But yeah, yeah. There are, there <laughs> so are, like... the, the, the problem with the humor is very true, actually, besides the yeah. language. That's very interesting. It's There's also culture. like something that Jal and I talked about before. Like that's why mostly why I completely changed my stream schedule was because like uh, he was like, everything's revolved around Eastern. What? I, was, I thought it was a joke when you said it, because like no, we both live in Eastern serious. time. But yeah. We it, it mostly revolves around Easter time because of our, the, how we speak and our language and what people would be more inclined to watch uh, would be like people that speak around the same way as we do. So I mean, Easter time is like perfect for that. I didn't really think until like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a really interesting like science behind you know the 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 internet schedules and like the, the clocks that exist just like those natural clocks that exist on the internet it's it's so strange but like legitimately um that's why they say like the best time to post on twitter on weekdays is you know between uh noon and two o'clock eastern standard time because you hit almost like every every human on north america is awake at that point at noon because you have you have the people in the East Coast that are that are up at noon, and then you have the people on the West Coast that are getting up, right? So you hit all of those people. You hit the people on their lunch break that are checking Twitter, and you you hit those people that are waking up in the morning that are checking Twitter, right? Like it's it's just so intelligent, and like uh, the same thing works with uh, prime time like television slots, right? Like that's why they always do prime time television slots in Eastern time because. You know, like it'll and it'll be weird, right? It'll be like ten o'clock Eastern is prime time, or like eight o'clock Eastern is prime time, and you're like, why so late? It's like because it hits the West Coast too, like when they're getting home. The weird thing on, with Twitch is also it is another thing, which is the fact that if every streamer thinks the same thing, there are way too many streamers up at the same time, yeah. and when the audience is limited as it is on Twitch, because the audience is the audience is limited as <laughs> one person can watch one stream only. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually a double-edged sword. Like you, you gotta choose if you want to really stream at the best time when everybody's up, but there's also mm -hmm. every streamer up, or like get your niche somewhere else. Yeah. Luckily, I'm European, so I have European time, and that's, yeah. that's comfy why, as hell. That's why <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah, no, it's that's super comfy. Yeah. yeah, it's very comfy. There's not many too many streamers. Yeah. Europeans speak English pretty fairly well, so I have a lot of people from everywhere. It's really comfy, but. American time is very busy. Like I see a lot of my yeah. friends streamers just 
start streaming at my 9 p.m. when I stop streaming. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. always if, if you ever want to look at it, the, uh, the twitchtracker.com shows you the, 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 the you can see your analytics for like both you, but then also like the platform, like the category that you're streaming in. Like you can look at like just chatting, you can look at Monster Hunter World, you can look at Rise, you can look at stories, you can, you can look at everything, right? Yeah. And uh, that's that's what I, you know, did a lot of every time I go back and like rethink like how do I want to redo my schedule, you know, or like what days do I want to stream on and stuff like that. I always kind of look at the analytics um because even though there are like a lot of people streaming you know for I, and you know this isn't this isn't like a dig at any of us right because i you know in in our own way we are successful but for the level at which we are streaming competing with other people just doesn't doesn't exist right mm -hmm. like competing for like the the 50 80 100 views it doesn't it doesn't exist you know people that are like actually competing are like you know the top 0.01 percent of twitch that are competing for the thousand two thousand four thousand um like who was it this week that had thirty eight thousand views in one stream like they, they peaked at thirty eight thousand views it was like one of the top top 10 i was like holy shit yeah but you know like for us it's it you know for that under under a hundred it's I'd say even like under 200, right? It, you can be successful in almost any time slot. Is it harder? Yeah, uh, obviously, right? You know, you, you if you aren't like in that in that peak, you know, viewership activity, it's harder for you to gain exposure to new people. But same vein, there are literally thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people using Twitch at literally any time. You can stream pretty much any time and and you know garner the the interest of potentially a hundred people. Yeah. The I think that things change a little bit when you talk about the environment of a niche on Twitch, though, mm -hmm. which we all are part of, obviously. Yeah. Uh, things are a little bit, yeah, more it's niche. It's different. So yeah. there's it's less really different. rechange of people. Is so that I like? It's definitely a more complex. It's it's definitely a more <laughs> complex, you know, problem than than what I'm what I'm boiling it down to, right? You know, and I'm not ignorant to that fact, but yeah. it, just the the kind of like. Because I, you know, like Scoy and I, we talked about like we talk about schedules all the time, and like you know, we talked about you know, like when, when's the best time to stream, and like when's the best time to post, and like oh, when are we gonna post this 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 update on Twitter, and and like when should I post my and, like we we talk about that stuff all the time, mm. but in actuality, like for for where we're at, that has very little impact. It can make a, it can be a big change, it can make a big change, but it has very little impact on like the consistency, you know, of our of our content and our growth, right? Yeah. But it's still good to like develop those good habits now and like work in that, in that same professional way and, you know, treat yourself like you are trying to reach this bigger and, and greater audience. Oh, yeah. Like I always, I always tell people that like, um, you know, your quality is as much as you put into it. It's, it's as serious as you make it. Right. And so like, I always treat my stream, like it's this gigantic, big, amazing thing that, that is the next latest and greatest. And you know, it, it's not, <laughs> you know, yeah, but, say, but if you treat it that way, but you need to yeah. say it that way for your audience. Cause then your audience exactly. will believe in your content and they'll just be like, if okay, you, yeah, if exactly. you believe in your if content, you treat it seriously. Will. Yeah. No. I'm personally yeah. really bad at that because <laughs> my humor is no. like 80% self-deprecating. Like I try to be professional when it comes to the looks. I see. Okay. Yeah, no. I mean, look at this. But you can't look see this podcast. But you can see you guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you got, like it looks cool lighting. Fairly and... professional. Yeah. But uh, I, when it comes to actually my, you know, um, approach and my humor, like it's definitely not. <laughs> But uh, it I mean, is just a, a You can a take it of... like in any way, right? Like you can approach it in any way you want if that's yeah, like the kind of the humor I... and the and the kind of content that you want to like push yourself towards. I agree with you. Like I think yeah. your approach is mm -hmm. the best one. I just have a hard a hard time doing yeah. it. They and I, I, I advocate to you... I tell other people, I suggest other people to do like you guys are doing. Yeah. And I hope I will be able to as well if <laughs> Yes, but <laughs> for the moment being it's really hard because you, you kind of have, I mean, sometimes you grow up, I mean, it's not for everybody, but some people grow mm. up with the idea that bragging or like being very upfront or like, um, I would say especially for women, but like taking this, a space in the world is actually something very, like you have to own, like you have to, how can I say? Uh, we'll you have there. to be up to we'll the together. task, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have to be very, you have to be perfect to be able to brag. When in reality, oh, it's yeah. a lot of people that are 
average and they just pretend to be good or just act like they're great at what they're doing and they succeed it's like the fake it to make a yeah. thing yeah. it's it's really hard when you grow up with this mentality that you get a, if humble is good like the mentality is oh you you're a humble that that's really nice good for you for being humble but being humble is not that good it's, i mean there are it's some... absolutely overrated where, where i am i think i think in american culture is a little less like that i think i think the european and the italian culture is very towards um complimenting people for being humble like whenever mm. someone is bragging we don't we don't like people that brag uh, we don't like people that flaunt their their money, which is something that American people do a lot. On the mm -hmm. other side, like, oh, you see all those influencers that show their mansions and, and their millions Bugattis. of people watch uh, the Bugattis. Like, that, is, that does <laughs> yeah. not exist in Italy. If we watch a rich person sh flaunting their Bugatti, they're just going to get insulted for some reason. Yeah. We're very envious. <laughs> There's a lot of envy in it. <laughs> so, so we tend There's to my be... Bugatti. Uh, one Bugatti, too. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a Bugatti, I have it. What did you do for that guy? So we, so we tend to, yeah, reward being humble, being, mm, can I say, relatable. Like reserved, not, yes. not arrogant. Yes, not arrogant, exactly. And that in a content creator can be damaging because you mm -hmm. don't feel like you can advertise yourself. It, yeah. Even I, f I feel bad about posting that I'm live on Twitter. Really? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if I click on Twitter, if they're following me, like they're interested in me, I click follow. But I feel I feel bad about doing it. I feel bad about occupying space. And oh, yeah. it's 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 interesting, but it's very cultural. I, I realize it's very cultural, cultural. And I I gotta um, I gotta get inspired by Americans to be a little more <laughs> bragging. <laughs> but I, I I can't. It's really hard. Like the, the, the whole thing with content creation is just like I'm always I always admire people and just scream for the rooftops to like tell people who you are. Like this is who exactly. you are. Like the, like be happy with who you are about your content and what you bring out and just like scream that from the rooftops. That's how you make it. That's like, true. Yeah. But my my approach is more like I'm in a cave and if you slightly open and you find me, you're like, oh that's cool, and you enter in my cave. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm like, hey, we're all together in this cave. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it in the cave though, so nobody thinks that I think that I, this is our good. cave. It's like you hear cave. it's like you hear the party from the outside, you're like tss, 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 and you're like open it's like oh, <laughs> oh exactly. <laughs> exactly. that is exactly what it is. That's oh shit, there's a party know. in this cave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It is, it is, no, it's, but it's it, it is, break that mentality. Mm. yeah, I hope to, I hope to, I hope to break it, but it, it's really hard because I feel, because of this whole cultural thing, I feel guilty of, mm -hmm. um, you know, bragging if I don't mm -hmm. feel like I 100% deserve it, but nobody feels like they 100% deserve it, like, yeah. we all have a little bit of imposter syndrome, mm -hmm. but for me, it makes it impossible. I'd say it's a little less, like, yeah, because you, you're definitely right. Like, you know, a lot of a lot of uh, the the United States culture is kind of developed around uh, like capitalism and showing off like your possessions and your wealth and flaunting that. Right? It's like it's it's a, it's like that whole sub uh, suburban kind of concept. Like, you're outside with your push mower, but your neighbor's on their ride on mower with a mulcher and like the collection bag, and you're like, damn, like that's so that's so cool. I want that. You know, it, it, like that must have been expensive. Like, and, you know, everyone like flaunting off that well you're you're absolutely right about that but there is there is this like there is this other part to it and it's not necessarily like about wealth but like about the things you enjoy i don't know i, I spent a lot of my my life and like my my upbringing not enjoying the things that i liked because my my family and the people around me didn't care about it um so i i didn't didn't really get to really lean into that enjoyment i found out later that i just stopped caring and everything works out <laughs> yeah. but you know when 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 you have like people even around you like telling you that like you know they aren't interested in the things that you do and you like just sharing you know a, a, a small detail about your day or like something that you did it becomes an inconvenience to them it gets really hard to do that so like in the same vein where like you you contemplate posting a going live message i contemplate just sharing a thought on twitter right and like that's what twitter is for you know it's it's to share your personality and your product and and your content and like i i get such posting anxiety every single time it, it, unless it's a picture of Bo, in which case i will always post a picture of Bo. Oh, of course. Uh, my my <laughs> last four tweets are just pictures of Bo. 
<laughs> but do you say something a little bit? It's just like not going live today, canceling. But Bo, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and uh, even this morning, like, my, my tweet this morning, he was like sitting on the bed. I, I made the bed because you know I'm going out of town. I want the house to be nice when I get back. And I made the bed, and he's like sitting on it. I'm like it's his bed now. <laughs> it's adorable. But but again, that's... If, if I, I like want to like share that like I'm like playing a new video game or like a thought on something, I'm like nobody gives a shit about that, and that's kind of like a product of just always being kind of told that i don't give a shit about that so shut up <laughs> you know this is something that's but now people uh, actually do care I'm... like you know oh, like, yeah. like you know between you guys i mean i, I don't know about sarah but i know i know i know, I know, Soy, <laughs> yeah, no, but I, I know I love Soy loves every detail of my life you know and you know, I, I do I love about it every every small detail i'm like did you use the restroom yet no okay I'll, I'll let me know when I mean, <laughs> take care of yourself now bagel <laughs> go use a little bagels room <laughs> no this is something i talked about like a free to podcast as well where it's just like people follow you because they are interested in what you post um mm -hmm. and it's it's very just like uh you gotta learn to like be, be like i don't give a fuck about what i post it is me it is about my life and i want to i want to share with everyone uh, it, it's it's hard to get to that mentality. It took forever for me to get to that mentality because I, I I would like used to always just post go live comments and then that's it. Yeah, I never really posted anything about my opinion. I really never really posted anything about uh, very very little things that would kind of reveal more about my personality online outside of streaming. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's it's very like once you hit that point. Which I see you've been starting to use Twitter more, um, Sarah, which is really nice to see. I think it's really cool. Um, right. Like you, you feeling more <laughs> like so. It's it's nice for other people to see as well because they they want they that's why they follow you because they want to see uh, your personality outside of Twitch. Like it's a behind the scenes of what's going on on stream. I want to know what Sarah's doing. I want to know <laughs> like how your life is going, <laughs> and I want I want pictures of mango. <laughs> it's really that's really what I want. <laughs> yeah. Those are never ending. No, like, but uh, but yeah. I agree. I I think that and it's something that I actually wrote on on Twitter because a, a post that I made on Twitter was basically about this. Although I I didn't, you know, you, you cannot say much on Twitter because it's just. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> it's about the fact that you can't share. You don't. You don't feel like you can always share what you think. Um, yeah. In my case, it's uh, and I hate that of myself, but it is there, and I address it because it's. I think it's a taboo that nobody wants to talk about it. But sometimes you are scared of um, scaring people away with your thoughts, <laughs> like when yeah. they get when they get very. Intent. I am a very passionate person when it comes to the things, mm -hmm. um, especially when it comes to civil rights and things. I'm very passionate about those things, but I yeah. don't look like that when mm. I'm on Twitch that much. And it is because I am afraid of bringing the mood down in certain situations. And the same goes on, on Twitter. But I feel like on Twitter is a little bit more like... I mean, you're not interested in you can scroll, right? But while my, while my stream is, I mean, yes, you can go away, but if you go away from my stream, I'm damaging myself in that moment. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it, doesn't, it shouldn't be like that, honestly. No. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not happy I about think, that. I don't have to do that automatically, like, but... It honestly I'm gets scary it. as well when you're on Twitter and like you have like these other big creators that follow you too, and you're just like, what do I say now? <laughs> Yeah, don't <laughs> fuck it up yeah basically but that's the big thing too is that uh, like if you've just been doing like yourself and you have other like larger people you know following you just keep doing you mm -hmm. right like because that's that's the thing that people I, legitimately especially in our community i would say that like in the monster hunter community and like our sphere of people like this the sphere that developed around monster hunter world um i would i would say that a lot of these people kind of respect that that bluntness and that openness like I don't think I've ever put out a tweet where I'm like, man, like, you know, I'm not feeling myself or like, you know, I've been down or like I've been scared or anything like that. And like had people like come back with a negative response or, or just like, or like ignore that. Right. Like people, this community has been like, so, cause I can't speak to like other ones, right. Like other ones might be, you know, horribly toxic, but at least this one, you know, anytime that I've posted like any sort of, any sort of self doubt or, or just like question that, you know doesn't necessarily need an answer or doesn't necessarily even need a response like other people have always responded and always try to like reach out and and you know at least provide their insight right 
and yeah. you know it, it, it's people that follow it's people that i follow it's it's other larger content creators it's other content creators like us and it's it's reassuring that you know these people want to interact the same way that that we want to interact but I agree, but it, 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 I think it's something that is very cultural, and like even if people are giving you good feedback, it's it was here. Oh, yeah. It's always yeah. No, you, I, I you pointed can't, at you my can't, forehead. <laughs> you, you can't you can't stop the brain weasels, right? The brain weasels will do whatever they want, you know. Because I I always I always preface a really ignorant comment with it. It's it's always easier said than done. Yeah. Um, but like, like shutting up that voice in your head, it's like, you just got to shut that voice up. You know, like, you know, just be confident. So easier said than done, shut the hell up, you know, check your privilege kind of thing. Right. Because some of us, it's a lot easier and some of us, it's a lot harder. You know, mm -hmm. like I, I can attest to that. Like I really haven't had, you know, problems with depression or like my mental state or anything like that to, to a degree in which it was, it, it led to like harm. But that doesn't mean other people haven't experienced that too. And so yeah. when I try to talk, like when I talk about my experience, I always try to to check my privilege and and just make sure that people understand that like I'm not saying it's this easy for you. I'm saying it was like this for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Honestly, I um, I tend to um, avoid giving my um, I I reach the other side of the spectrum because you know that there are the the people when whenever you talk about a problem, they talk about their experience on that topic. Mm -hmm. I I learned that most of the times when you talk about your experience on that topic, you are uh, some people don't take it very good <laughs> because if I yeah. if I talk about my I don't know uh, anxiety issues, I uh, kind of I'm 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 better now. Like I went to therapy, I'm I'm good. I don't I don't f consider myself to be sick anymore, mm. which is great. Uh, but. And if I talk and if I say this, sometimes some people that are still struggling will feel like uh, they're bad because they're still in it or they're not strong enough because they're still in it. Right. And that's the last yeah. kind of message that I ever want to share, obviously. Um, I, I know it's their fault, like fault. If I can't say fault. It's not their fault, but it's their problem. Like it's, it's their how situation. They are, yeah. No, it's more like how they are reacting to what I'm saying. What I'm oh, saying. Oh yeah, not yeah, wrong. yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. Okay. What I'm saying is not wrong in any way. I'm saying just my Correct. story. But how but they, they are going to react is yeah. their problem te technically. But I still take it to heart. <laughs> like I still don't no, want them to feel that way. So when yeah, I talk about the topic, I try to stay as medical as possible. I try to <laughs> stay to talk about like them political, generically. Like, away but from that. yeah. Yeah, exactly, and I try not to give my, you know, approach or how I went through it because I know that everybody's different on it. Yeah, it doesn't exactly. matter that much. Mm. <laughs> like my 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 medical my medical reaction is always like go to therapy because <laughs> that's yeah. good for most people. Mm -hmm. So, but it is. Um, I try to. I I I reach the other end of the spectrum, but I'm very. I was gonna say very not personal <laughs> when it comes to this. No, and, for that reason. and that's that's a good approach to have, right? Because people, you know, sh sharing your experience is one thing, but sharing your experience when nobody asks is another. Yeah, um, exactly. I personally hate it when I I I have my mother doing that to me. Jesus Christ! I, I was like, oh, I suffer from anxiety <laughs> issues. I want to go to therapy, please, please. <laughs> and she was like, oh, I suffer from anxiety issues myself. I take I take Xanax. I take Xanax. That's what my mom said to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So my mother was like, I take a sticky note and I write down what makes me anxious. And that really solves the problem. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mom, like, no. Uh, he means well, so but he's so exactly. ignorant to the facts. Yeah. I'm like, I know you mean well, but yeah. please, just, just, just there, no. So I, yeah. I really avoid that as much as I can. I just listen to people, basically. Or oh, yeah, the only advice I give is, hey, do you want help finding a therapist? Ask me. I know a lot about that. Let's find yeah. a therapist together. That's all I do. Oh yeah, I try point. to refrain from talking about social media stuff to my parents because it's just like I I'm just they like, why haven't you them. posted today? And I'm like, you haven't posted on TikTok in a while. What's going on? I'm like I am going through a lot. <laughs> 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 so yeah. it's but they don't understand the the mentality of like being uh, online all the time <clears throat> and just like being yeah. like not someone else, but like a more exaggerated version of your personality all the time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. 
by, by, sorry, this is so, speaking about my parents and their reaction to things, my, oh, my, father, my father asked me how many followers I have on Twitch, yeah. you know, and I uh, told them. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, around 4K. And he was like, oh, well, that's not as good as... And he oh. mentioned a... Yeah, oh. he mentioned a... <laughs> He mentioned a famous Italian YouTube. Oh, no, a famous Italian oh. TikToker. You probably know about him. Is um, is that Italian YouTuber that, you know... I don't know how to explain. I don't remember the name. But anyway, it's very famous. <laughs> has millions of followers. Yeah. And my, my dad was like, well, that's not as good as him. I was like, all right. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's thanks, not as good thanks, as him. <laughs> thanks, Dad. Thanks, 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 thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that. I you appreciate that. just it. rip my heart out entirely. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm we're happy not, my family doesn't nuts. give a shit about this stuff. Yeah, it's like I, 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 when I started doing it, I was explaining it to them. You know, they're like, my, my mom's first reaction when I was like, I'm going to play video games online and like let people watch me. And she goes, who's going to watch that? Like, oh, ah, <laughs> ouch, mom. <laughs> No, it's like she, a football she watched game, me. soccer game, yada yada. But exactly. Yeah. You know, it's just I, I, that's what I told her. It's like it's any, it's like any other entertainment, right? Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's 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 like a talk show almost. But she watched me do it once, and she's like, "Oh my gosh! Like you're a different person. You're so much happier when you do that." I'm like, so yeah, happy. because the real world sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's weird. I enjoy doing this. It always puts a smile on my face. Like I can be having the worst day, and I'll go live, and I'll I'll feel like I'll feel like absolute dog shit, and I'll be like so just man like streams not gonna fix it like i don't really feel like streaming like i don't feel like doing anything i'm just gonna lay on my couch like just like down and just off and i'm like but you know what i'm gonna do it anyways and i get on stream and i have the best time of my life and it makes me feel better instantaneously sure you know it's like that it's like that pure like serotonin dopamine hit for me it puts me in that in that Mm -hmm. good good mental mental state again Mm-mm-mm-mm. I agree. Also, yeah, uh, speaking of the talk about streaming with your partner, <laughs> oh, yeah. it was really fun because I, I kind of procrastinated for a while, but my parents were really suspicious of me speaking English for a prolonged amount of time <laughs> in my room alone. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you doing? So yes, I was some point. <laughs> I'm there speaking English all the time. Yeah. I was speaking English all the time. I was like... Can't do my what, what's, Can what's you... happening? What, what? That was going to be uh, another one of my questions, right? Because I mean, I've I've been trying to learn Spanish for like twelve years now, and I know un poquito amount of Spanish. Uh, that's mm-hmm. that means a little. Um, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I know I know a little. I know I know just enough Spanish to get myself around the job site in Miami, and that's about it. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, so I'm, I'm really curious. I think you talked about this once on stream, but you know, I, I, I was curious to ask again, did you, did you learn English while you were streaming or did you like learn English and then start streaming or has it been kind of like a collaborative collaborative thing? Cause I'm, I'm curious like how, you know, you, cause you talked about it briefly on stream one day and you know, my mentality, I've never learned a second language and that just flabbergasts me. Europeans always laugh about Americans only know, knowing one language, by the way. So it's like it's we only need the one. Y'all, y'all keep learning English. Like that's that's the problem, right? Is like if you guys Americans keep learning English, struggling with their own main language. No, but uh... jokes on you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to learn another one. <laughs> But that being said, um, <laughs> I, le- I basically I learned English just by consuming American media or English media. So when I started streaming, I already knew English, but I was obviously not used to speak English. I never went to uh, an English speaking country ever, like not mm-hmm. even visited. Of course, I went outside Italy, so I had to use English in that situation, but I never went, you know, I never immersed myself into an English country so uh I never you know I never used it so the first times when I was streaming I was slow because my brain was still doing the process of you know thinking the sentence in Italian and then translating it to English so if I was thinking about a joke in Italian I would take like that delay <laughs> of translating <laughs> the sentence, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I was really slow. I felt like. There gets slow. a little loading bar on her forehead. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Something happened, then I joke about it like 10 seconds later. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that, that was it. I, I think I stopped having this problem when I, whenever, whenever I, no, right, I start streaming right now, I start talking to you, like my brain just switches to English and I just pit out the sentences in English without even thinking okay. about in Italian. Uh, but that took a while. So yeah, it, it to, definitely takes a while. 
Yeah, I mean, to, to make it simple and fast, it was just like I knew English already, I knew all the vocabulary, grammar and everything, but I was not used to speaking it, but right. I, I did it. One tip that I have that I don't see many people um, giving out when it comes to learning another language, because one thing that I uh, always get pointed uh, pointed out about my English is that it doesn't sound Italian <laughs> or it doesn't sound too strongly Italian. Like I have an accent, but it's not like. No, strong. you don't have like super <laughs> Italian accent. No, you exactly. have the Italian accent. Like the I one don't have you do Italian accent. accent. Yeah. I, I obviously have an accent because that's completely normal, but yeah. I don't have that Italian accent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and my, my tip for that is prete- like um, copy other people, or copy how they speak. Like just just feel dumb while you're doing it. Mm-hmm. but copy them exactly as they're doing it. You will feel stupid because it would be very different from how you're used to talk, right? It will just mm-hmm. be very natural at the beginning, but copy them. Oh, yeah. That's Are you a, saying that's to get very... rid of, like, the, 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 the strong accent? Exactly, yeah. Because yeah. It, it very com- it's very common when Americans like, try to speak Italian or Spanish, they, they sound extremely <laughs> English. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, you know, our, our words and our mouths, like, make different noises, you know, for, for similar <laughs> words, right? And so you, you kind of have to change the enunciation entirely, exactly. and that'll, that'll affect your, your you know, uh, your accent just right there. Yes, and you will feel extremely weird while you're doing it at the mm-hmm. beginning. But I feel I always feel like... strange when I when I hit like a really heavy like like when I hit the Spanish pronunciation like exactly because I it just sounds Spanish. Like I, I had a friend exactly. in college. It was and like you got to keep it. That. You sound like you're from Spain. And I'm like I. <laughs> I did it. Exactly. I peaked. American as ever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's the same but thing with Swedish like... too, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, 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 when you're yes, go. Oh, sorry. Like, I... <laughs> sorry, sorry. I have an habit. I'm trying to talk. Like whenever I go to Sweden um, to visit family, and I like I miss Sweden. I want to go back to Sweden. <laughs> Pretty beautiful Sweden, yeah. Oh yeah, but like it's the same thing where it's just like you. It, it, it's the best when you're uh, surrounded by literally like the media and like the language. Like that's when you learn the language the best. Like. Yeah, when you're uh, thrown into the fire, got it. Oh yeah, pretty much. Like, no uh, one here speaks English. Figure it out. Figure it out, basically. <laughs> uh, my family. Well, we Sweden, try to everybody do... speaks English. <laughs> oh, oh that's Sweden, you can get around. Oh, you can no, literally get then. around speaking English. You can ask someone. You can like, do you speak English, and they'll pro- most likely say yes because they have yes. to learn yeah. English in school. Same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Huh. But also, they watch movies in English. I noticed. I was living in an Airbnb <gasps> with a girl. They watch. Yeah, they watch movies in English, so they, they will learn English at some point. That bothers me. I've been trying so hard to find, like, Swedish, like, anime. Like, I've been trying so hard to find Swedish, Swedish anime. anime. And there's, like, You'll none. never find it, dude. <laughs> no, yeah. there's, like, your name, that's a Swedish. I was like, fuck yeah. Then I showed this to my Swedish friend. She's like, yeah, but the Swedish is very cringy, though. And I was listening to him, like, you're right. <laughs> it is it's true in, in italy we we dub everything and spanish mm. people do that too so you will always find the movie dubbed in italian no problem uh but personally speaking i hate watching movies dubbed because it, it's just gonna hide the actual acting of the actors and it's gonna be mm-hmm. called by the voice actor the italian voice actor it's just bad but um so i I'm happy that some countries don't do that, but it, it gets really hard to actually learn the language at that point because yeah, you find uh, no media, no it, what's no media whatsoever. Like my friend yeah. who's Swedish, she's just like she's sharing me all these different things. She's just like here's like the news you can listen to. Uh, there's like this and this. Like I hate the news. I don't listen to the news. I don't. I, yeah. <laughs> like I, like the, the, the news thing. for me is just like all these shows like the depressing shit that's been happening around the world. Yeah. I'm like I'd rather not like start my morning off like uh someone just died today i'm like fuck i guess i'm depressed today <laughs> great <Jesus. laughs> guess my day's <laughs> awful now yeah <laughs> you learn how to give bad news that's about yeah. it you just learn how to say hey uh, <laughs> that person died <laughs> You do have to have that like connection with whatever you're listening to, though, right? Because because th- that I mean, Sarah's absolutely correct. Like if you if you engross yourself in media that is spoken yeah. in that language, you will learn. Oh, oh like, yeah. and, and you have to put in the effort, but you will start to pick up on that language, right? But you have to be invested in it because you know they they used to show us telenovelas to learn Spanish, and <laughs> it's smart to do that because that that kind of content is made in spanish for a spanish-speaking person so it's it's 
correct it's grammatically correct the pronunciation is correct everything about it is right and you kind of like get that inflection of how to speak spanish in a dramatic way which is important because i mean spanish is a very dramatic language yeah and um but i didn't care about the telenovela at all so it made it really difficult to try to like absorb that you just you just couldn't you just couldn't do it you, you could watch a movie that you like and just find the spanish yeah. dub they dub. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and I, you you know, I, I would love to do that if, if yeah. I, I, I've given up on learning Spanish. I know how to say like oh, shovels okay. and stuff, like that, <laughs> you know, but like dig, dig a hole. Like, you know, if, if I got it written down on my phone somewhere. I, it, that's, <laughs> this, this, this thing is the problem because now I can just speak a sentence into it and then it spits it out in Spanish for the guy and it works ah. great. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah. I see. So I've given up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Well, <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, shrug. I guess I got. I don't know. I uh, but you know, I I just always think that's interesting, right? Like, because uh, I mean, a lot of the a lot of the Monster Hunter community isn't English speaking. Like, we have a lot of people from Germany and France and uh, and Italy and um, Singapore and Malaysia, like, and they're all speaking English. And I find that absolutely wild, right? Like everyone's speaking English. I'm like, wow, this is incredibly convenient for me. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, it, it, it's always really weird, you know, uh, to, to kind of get that perspective because I've, I've never, ha- I was never put in the situation where I had to learn another language or that I wanted to learn another language. And so, you know, seeing that, you, you know, you guys that are bilingual go through this effort to make your content and your stream more accessible for people that are speaking English because you, you want, that that kind of reach is is really cool. Mm-hmm. Still, are Italian. I mean, not many, but some Italians are starting to do what I did, and I don't know. It, it's just bothering me how in Italy we don't have very good, we don't have very good teachers in schools. So, mm-hmm. well, and hey, if I can they relate. really try hard. <laughs> If they really try hard to learn English, they get to to good levels of English. But I had a lot. I, I saw a lot of streamers that have very broken English, and when they're Italian, mm-hmm. it's not their fault, honestly. It, it's mm, the school yeah. system failing on them, obviously. But I, I can see that happening, honestly. If if you if you heard me speaking English when I just was out of high school. It's, just, it was just as bad, I guess. Yeah. But they, they try. I, I'm happy that they're trying, and I'm sure that they're, they're going to improve with practice. So that's amazing. But yeah. And that's how it is for us, too, because like uh, learning the second language is like an afterthought for the American education system. It's right. like, it's just like one of those things that you have to do. And the people that want to do something with it, they have to wait until college There's to not actually many do something with it. Either. I was so annoyed. I was just like, it depends yeah, we... on your school, right? Oh, yeah, you know, that's it too. depends. It, and, and like, I know for me, when I was graduating high school, they added like six different language classes that you could take, and then they immediately took them away the next year because yeah. nobody took them. And, you know, it's, it's just all dependent on like access and availability. But like, I mean, we had things like, like you could learn German or Hebrew, you could learn, um, uh, they had like Italian, they had French, like, you know, our, our, our big five, whatever, whatever those would be, mm-hmm. you know, but I, if I wanted to take a class in Swedish, it wasn't happening. And yeah, Japanese dope. or Chinese was like always a maybe, right? Like, you know, if you signed up to take Mandarin, it was like, mm, if we have enough students, you can do it. Yeah. But I hey, stuck with Spanish because it was we easy. We had Japanese people that took that in a heartbeat. There are so many weebs now. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, yeah. And, and you know, I, I, at least for our schools, like, Japanese is an option. Uh, you know, it, it, it always has been. That's crazy. Yeah, for me, it was Japanese, just... you have a lot of media. You can, yeah. There's a lot. You, you have a lot Japanese. of media. Yeah. Literally. That's really good. Watch like, so much Japanese anime. You watch is... anime in class and be like, I'm studying. Oh, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's, I, it's I honestly true. learned some things of Japanese just by watching anime, like, like oh, baka, yeah. more things baka. like baka, Nico, <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, oh, you, gosh. You, 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 you end up, sorry, you end up learning something. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, li- okay. I, I will say that though, and uh, I mean, and this is just kind of furthering that. Like, there are sometimes, like when I'm listening to a, um, a subbed anime, and I hear a phrase, and I'm like, I know what that was. Yeah, you know, yeah. like I don't have to like I don't have to read the subtitles. Like, oh, I knew those words. <laughs> <I understood> it. 
Oh my gosh. One of my friends, I'm like looking at him like you you've gone crazy, where he's just like, I feel like I like don't read the subtitles and like I stay. And I'm like, Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> I'm immersed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can kind of guess what they're talking about, like when you're just watching it. Sometimes, like, yeah, you're probably, like, okay, yeah. this is the plot that's happening. Fill in the context. Yeah, you can on the context. Fill in the context. Like, you can zone out for a few seconds, like, what's going on, and you can understand. You're like, okay, that's what's going on. Unless it's JoJo, in which case you just never understand anything I because you came in like oh two or three seasons God. late. Yeah, <laughs> I, I still Even understand. If you have the I, I love, have no clue what's going on. <laughs> I love the chaoticness of JoJo, though. It's fun. Yes, absolutely. I'll do it again, Skoy. I'll say it again. What? <laughs> the bizarre. It's such a bizarre adventure. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm just proud of myself. Every time. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, look at the time. You We're can't gonna... kick me out. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get going. Damn it. <laughs> Look at the time. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I still got four hours until my plane leaves. We're oh, good. <laughs> yeah, you're stuck with me for another at least maybe an hour. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I still I still love that. Um, but that my hold on, I have to I have to open up. Sarah's Discord, because I always forget which quote it is. Quote 139. Am I not in every Discord? Every single time. Sarah? Oh, no, it's Bagel. <laughs> <laughs> quote 139 in Sarah's my... chat is, oh, no, it's, it's a Bagel. That's it's I, my genuine reaction it. to your <laughs> presence. Literally every time, oh, no, it's Bagel. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> and then I just, you know, Hi. BGL, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Yes, I am here. <laughs> it's me. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um... I'm here to create a problem. <laughs> I have a, a question for Sarah, actually, that it yes. goes for like both you and me. Do you ever feel intimidated by other people that are well experienced in the game uh, that come by your chat? For example, Bagel. <laughs> what? No, I, that's okay. a genuine question. Do you yeah, ever feel intimidated? I, I don't think it is. Um, I don't think it's related to how experienced they are but how judgmental they are. So Bagel is very experienced, but I know him mm -hmm. and I know that he's not, I mean, he's, if he is judgmental, he's not judgmental like openly. I, yeah, I never yeah, see him being judgmental on me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe you'd see rude. Me. Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I never seen you being judgmental then maybe no. I, I don't follow you enough, but <laughs> I don't think you are. Oh man, so, you should hear what I say in my stream about you. Oh, I was playing with Sarah the other day and she carted on a latch. Who carts on a latch, It's the easiest fight in the game. <laughs> Just dodge everything. Come on. Speed run. You didn't we didn't we didn't clear it before Eschaton? Ugh. We're playing um, casually. Actually, uh, <laughs> uh, I can't play the game like this. <laughs> no, I, so I, I, I don't I'm I don't. Game. Yeah, shut up. I don't get. I don't, <laughs> so it doesn't affect me. But I do know some speedrunners that are. I'm not gonna make names, but they are a little judgmental. And I know it, and they also been judgmental towards me. So when they are around, mm -hmm. I do feel a little annoyed because I suddenly feel this need to be better at the game. While I'm streaming, I actually am there to like interact with people, or chat. Like I yeah. really don't care that much. Uh, so yeah. It, ha it it does happen, but it's not related to how good they are. Oh yeah, okay. I was just honest. It's related to how judgmental. They I was are. just curious. I'm, I'm not like <laughs> yes. I'm not intimidated by you at all, child. Oh yeah, no, I know. Okay. You wouldn't. <laughs> uh, trust me. <laughs> we wouldn't be doing this if you were. No, it's just like, hey, child, can we do a podcast together? Maybe. <laughs> it's just like what? Just nervous and shaking the entire time, Maybe. like a small chihuahua. <laughs> you would be a podcast man. <laughs> I'm not worth no, your presence, baby. I, 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 um, I try to destroy that stigma in speedrunning, though, but I, I will say this, that I, I speedrun the game and I approach the game in a very different way than, like, you know, IL speedrunners. As far as speedrunning is concerned, especially for this game, there is a really big difference in thinking for, like, individual level and for RTA. And it, it's mostly down to competition, right? Like, there are a shit ton of, of, of single quest speedrunners, and there are very few, though growing, um uh any percent speedrunners. And so a lot of people get into this mentality that like because they they know the information, they just share it, or because they are the speedrunner, they're like the expert on the on the information. But like legitimately, um, you know, I, I always try to tell people it's like, hey, I appreciate the information, but it's not welcome right now. Like I don't I don't want to know. I don't care. You know? 
yeah, and, and, it, and that can be from from anyone. Like I've had I've had speedrunners, I've had new viewers, I've had old viewers, I've had moderators like try to share information, and it's just like, hey, it's appreciated, but it's it's not it's not wanted right now. Like I I do not want to hear it. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess it makes sense from your perspective because records like it's it's i feel like yeah. it's a different point of view where it's just like hey listen mm -hmm. i know what i'm doing i appreciate it but like i got this i got this. i also like try to tell people that like when you're when you're in that situation because like file speedrunning is so different <laughs> uh because it's all script based like you you create a script and if you miss it and you, like it falls apart you just reset and you're done you can't do that in rta right you are playing the game for three hours straight and you have to ad lib and like fix the situations you're constantly thinking about what to do next if something goes wrong or when something goes wrong what to do and like people are just like oh just like do this it's like in that moment you have no idea how hard it is to think about that you know like it, it, all of the decisions that i make are like secondhand but I, I I keep falling back into this trap about talking about speedrunning. Oh yeah, <laughs> but, I noticed that. I was just like, in my head, I was like, we're talking about speedrunning. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> we're doing it again. We're locked Chow, in. Stop. <laughs> we're for a ride. That's Let's a different go. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, I I always try to come off as helpful, not as as intimidating in a chat, and I because I, I get in that same mindset. Like, I don't want people to tell me the information. I either want to figure it out on myself, or I'll look for it myself, or I'll or I'll ask. You know, I'll ask. and I feel like yeah. I feel like a lot of the times when people get judgmental, it's because it, it, you get this air about you that that they feel like they need to give you the answer. It's like, dude, I don't. I'll ask for it when I want it. Like, you know, people telling me about uh, like, you know, openings on, on specific attacks and stuff like that. So like, I, I even, I get that way too, Sarah, like, you, you know, cause I speed run in a different way. So like, I see a lot of IL runners when they start coming and watching, I get a little self-conscious about what I'm doing because they understand the game a lot better than I do, but I understand this speed run a lot more than them. And it really just comes down to intent, right? Like when someone tries to push that mentality, like that speedrunner knowledge on you, when you're, playing casually with an open lobby with viewers and really the intent of that is to have something in the background while you're talking with chat because like really playing monster hunter absolutely world that. in an open open lobbies are just chatting with extra steps like absolutely come yes. on <laughs> yeah, oh yeah agree. definitely i always try to tell people like because that, that'll happen like in in open lobbies i'll be like why didn't you do it this way i'm like because i don't care right now like i'm not speed running we're, we're playing the game and we're just having fun you know yeah. absolutely I, it's, it's it's unwarranted i your, your i did approach. see people um going into you know to streamers that are doing exactly this like watching like not looking at chat when they are playing because they are just you know they are just shutting um and they would resent the streamer for not caring about the game and mm -hmm. like ugh. It's like, just that a different, kind of it's just a difference in audience, me. right yeah just yeah, go no, watch it, stream, watch, like go to something well, else like that's a just shutting they're stream. There are two audiences, right? There are the audiences that like want to like be there and interact with the streamer. Uh, there are audiences that just like kind of like want to go and play the game, and there are audiences that like want to watch the game played at a top level. But it, you're not going to get all of those things in one I stream. See, absolutely, um, exactly. You know, you're you're going to get maybe just one of those things. You might get two of them, right? You know, and it just comes down to what that person's intent with is with that stream, like trying to go in and give someone speedrun strats in a casual playthrough. I I fucking hate that. You know, oh, yeah. like I played, I played through <laughs> when I played through Hollow Knight. I got one of the speedrunners in in my channel. You know, like, hey, you know, how you doing? How you enjoying the game? I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm loving it. And like in my in my tags, it says first played through blind playthrough, and in my in my title, it says no spoilers and all of that. And I was struggling on one of the fights, and they're like, oh, you can do it this way. And I said, hey, man. I know you're one of like I know you like you, you came in here, you talked about how you're a speedrunner. I, I appreciate that and I want you to hang out and like be here, but this is my first time playing through it. I'm not doing speedrunner strats. Like, come on. You know, read the room. This isn't this isn't me learning high level play. It's a difference when I was learning a hat in time or tie the Tasmanian Tiger, because I literally put in there learning for any percent. You know, learning to speedrun this game. In the tag it says speedrun. In the tags it says practice. That's when that's warranted. People when people are titles. like openly advertising. <laughs> to come and help me yeah well, one thing that i okay i'm, I'm gonna brag a little bit speaking of me oh, i can't brag go. i'm gonna brag yes what I brag brag is about yourself. How, how, how easy of a time i had with dark souls 3 and how Hell many yeah. people were in my stream and they were like trying to tell me how to play the game and i had people going oh you should use a shield because i was not using a shield i was using dual blades no yeah. shield just rolling it was fun it's as fuck i was having a 
blast because it's so yeah. fun to play like that. And and being a very rhythmic game, it was really, really, really satisfying. And um, I had people like keep coming and be like, "Oh, you gotta learn how to backstab. Otherwise, you, get, you need to learn how to parry. You need to do this and that." And I was like, "I want to play it like this." You don't need to learn how to use a like. Just they give you different options in the game for a reason because they want yeah. you you to decide how you want to play the game. There's no one freaking, way to play the game. <laughs> yes, I yeah. freaking blasted through the game and I beat one hand, like one try, a lot of bosses that were super hard. Like, dude, stop it. And that was my little win and I loved it. And nobody was backseating me anymore. <laughs> Yeah, there is a badass. She's out here killing oh everything. God. First try, yeah. let's freaking go. Win. <laughs> yeah. It was really fun. In my Dark Souls 3 playthrough, I used the Stardy Axe and fully maxed it out until the last boss. Hell yeah. <laughs> I used that axe the entire time. People were like, you should use another weapon. Every now and then I'll switch to another weapon, but I'd always go back to the axe. Eh. So I'm so used to it. I'm just like, axe I'm just going to cool. have fun with it. Yeah, oh yeah. It's a good axe too. And like I told my friends yes. about it. They're like, fuck what other people says. People use the yeah, axe. Exactly. I'm like, there we go. Do what you want. At the beginning, uh, I was also struggling because I was following someone else's strategies. They were like, use this, use that. Use your that, own. And I, I, I was struggling. Then I, I was like, no, I want to play this. And I, 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 it was much better, so yeah, yeah. So stop, stop giving tips. I had, <laughs> I mean, I even had the same problem during stories too, where like people were like, oh, you should like get this monster and like you should do these things and like you should like do the combat like this. And I said, hey, this is my first time playing it. Let me discover that stuff. Do not, do not just come in here and tell me. If I ask a question, that's when you get to give me the answer. Oh, yeah. But like, I don't put, I don't put like no backseating and stuff like that into my titles anymore because that just, that welcomes people to, to be trolls in your chat you know like i i notice it like instigates people to backseat when you put no backseating it's insane it, it makes it it's so it's so funny and uh, this just comes back to like twitch being the brilliant platform that they are and having no ramifications for literally any user ever um where you can use tags and that targets you for harassment oh, amazing yeah. how that works right i didn't have that to be honest, it didn't, didn't happen really to me. I, I actually, no, I actually got the opposite. Like, I was asking questions. People are like, no vaccinating. We're not oh, answering. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's, because, like, that's because your chat likes to bully you, right? Yes, they were <laughs> absolutely oh, yeah, bullying me. I, I was like, is there a bonfire here? Please tell me if there's a bonfire in front of me, please. And no like, vaccinating, no vaccinating. Sarah. You're breaking vaccinating. your own rules. <laughs> I feel like my rule is that you answer me when I ask. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, yeah. I feel like our but yeah, no, besides that, I never have problems. Yeah. Yeah. I have timers that say, please don't tell me things unless I ask. If you want to stay yeah, around, and that's, help. And that's please. smart to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially for very big games like Final Fantasy. I had this experience last night. Like, um, I've had people saying, like, oh, you should try this, you should try that. And there's, especially with an MMO game, so much. And I'm aware mm -hmm. there's this other mm -hmm. cool stuff to do, but I'm going to focus on no, MSQ no. right now. <laughs> As you should. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. That's and all you should be doing in 14 is just doing doing your, MS, your MSQ quests. Just you get through those. I had a burp. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if it was internet. <laughs> No, <laughs> that was that was IRL buffering. Don't worry yeah, about oh, it. Yeah, I was gonna say he lagged in real life. Just <laughs> that was that happens. My body hates me. <laughs> it's like shit. It retaliates all the time. It's. Um... What were you saying? <laughs> Oh, but uh, that, that's all you should be focusing on in 14, right? Like, I'm at the point now where I should be going and focusing on the other content of the game Psychos. because my MSQ was done. I have a class to 80. I don't feel like getting my my best in slot gear, you know? So, like, I should be exploring and, like, doing the other things that are in the game now. Yeah. But when you're just starting out, either you buy a level 70 or a level 80 boost, right? or you're doing what you do right now, which is getting through the game. And that's just to be your only focus. And that's what I did when I first started playing. Like, you know, I was just, it's MSQ grind. And when I get to a dungeon, y'all can play with me. You know, that's, that's just all I did. And that's how I got through the game, you know, at a relatively good pace, but. How much did you play, Bagel? Me? Mm -hmm. I've been playing for two years now, but I, still play. I, I play on and off. Yeah. Okay. Um, you do because... it sometimes. It's it's great playing with you when I can. Yeah, but I um I 
have to be like in the right mood and like the right mindset for MMOs. And when I'm still speedrunning World, I really don't have that much time for MMOs. So 14s, I'm only back into 14 because there's a new expansion coming out. And so I wanted to make sure that I was caught up for that. So when the expansion comes out, I can just play it. And that's the point where I'm at right now. And so I'm excited about that because I'm a little bit more com comfortable in like my, my channel and stuff like that, that I, I'm going to stream that, you know, and I'm going to okay. play it and, and I'll enjoy it. And unlike last time where I speed ran through it as fast as I possibly could. Which it's also, probably that it's too, also but I feel like right now is like a better best time than ever to really get into Final Fantasy for those that are like really into Monster Hunter. Like I, I would say, yeah. Uh, for Monster Hunter casters, you're pressuring me. Get in there. Those are not for everyone, right? No, it's not. I mean, is there an agenda here? <laughs> <laughs> it's a free trial saying, to level sixty. So if you want to try it, you can do it, and there's I, no repercussion. Still technically a it, free trial. What does it say on your hat, bagel sponsored by Square Enix? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This, this, this episode of Gamer Breakfast is sponsored by Square, Square Enix. Yeah. Uh, play Final Fantasy XIV for free. Uh -huh. Now the rest of the copy pasta. The, the reason why I say it's like a best time to get into it than, uh, than ever before is because like literally everyone right now. I'd like uh, most other people are finding like they miss the grind. I feel like at least for me, I miss yeah. the grind to go for something instead of for me mindlessly hunting the same monster over and over. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I, yeah. I, I recently went back. To well, I mean, that, that's yours is a different perspective, but yes. <laughs> I, I recently went back to that because I, I started I, I stream a little bit more Monster Hunter World re recently, and it's a fun game. The only reason why I go back is no, it's it, it's what Bagel was saying before. It's just chatting with extra steps. Like you're it's with that with extra steps, dude. Yeah. It's a party. Like we we just yeah. laugh about whatever we, yeah. we have blast. That would, doesn't matter what we're doing. It's just it's basically like choosing a random category on Twitch, but in the end, just 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 chatting. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, it ends up being like that. But I agree with you. Like I would love to find something that in the meantime it's also entertaining. But I also find that sometimes when I am playing something that is very entertaining, like Dark Souls Three, I end up not being as good as a streamer as I would like to be because I get very focused on the game. Yeah. And I mm. cannot really be there for chat because like the game is taking one hundred percent my attention. Maybe with it's, it's a different like that. it's a different thing at that point though, right? Because yeah, like exactly. when you're playing exactly. when you're playing open lobbies, you're literally advertising that you are interacting with chat. But when you it's are true. like, this is my first playthrough, people are coming there with the expectation for you to play the game. So mm -hmm. when you do. It is, it's a different kind of content, right? And I've been talking with a lot of people about how to approach like playing a new game when you are in a very um, chat oriented and interactive oriented community, you know, because I, I certainly I am. am. I sit on a game and for 80% yeah. of the time, my brain shut absolutely. the fuck off and I'm talking with chat. Yeah, <laughs> you know? absolutely. Same. But when, you know, but when you are like playing a game like that, like it's okay to like stop and like take a break and like catch up with chat and like talk a little bit about what you did. And, you know, it, even just narrating what you're doing is a really good step at just making that content a little more interactive and engaging, you know, just talking about what you're doing and then like occasionally looking over and reading a message in chat, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's hard to do, yeah, let's change that mentality, right? But it's I've been like, I've been trying to, to like teach, yeah, I've been trying to like teach myself that, um, I, I don't have to read every message, right? I, I choose to read every message, but I don't have to. And so I've been I teaching myself bad. to like skip over them every, every now and then. Well, because like not yeah. not everything is is contributing contributing contributing, contributing. to the. Uh, don't don't worry about it. My brain I had is the wrong. Now. I had the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. Don't worry. Syllable. <laughs> 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 but I. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes people say things in chat that like just doesn't contrib contribute. Contribute. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. It's the same it level. Contribute to the the conversation, and like those are the ones that I that I glaze over, right? It's just like oh, like they they said like an offhanded joke that I really don't get, and I'm just gonna kind of like glaze over it, and then like oh, ten okay, minutes yeah. later they're like, "You didn't laugh at my jokes, like I didn't get it. I'm sorry." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like it's nothing personal. I just I didn't understand it. Um, but I mean, yeah, it, it's it's a weird it's this weird like like shift that you go from like where you read every you know message in chat and then 
start to like read less of chat and start yeah. paying attention more to the game. But that's sometimes like what the content is. Like if you're saying like I'm playing through this game, like play through it. That's like the thing. But if you're you know I'm open lobby, uh, unga bunga, turn brain off, burn to the monster. Like I love watching Sarah play switch axe when she's doing open lobbies because she's like literally uh, when we put on my temporal mantle, clutch onto the monster, and then she just looks at chat. <laughs> 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 I, this is, absolutely this is why i miss time. old temporal this is why i miss old temporal so much because it's, it's literally cold. like exactly it's, it's, so funny. it's the just chatting uh mantle like you could it's just call it mantle yeah the streamer mantle like it's, it's just mantle. Mantle. Oh, put on my streamer it's raincoat when put on my streamer raids, mantle. whenever someone raids mantle <laughs> <laughs> dude i've done that in open lobbies we're fighting like a raging bracky and someone yeah. raided me I'm like oh, hold on let me get on my raid mantle and i put on the temporal and then i went over into chat and i and i like gave him the sl right yeah. and uh, but like during the time like Ragey Brack is just like beating the shit out of me by the time I come back the, the like, temporal mantle's gone. I'm like, all right, perfect. Now rock steady. <laughs> and we do it again. <laughs> but I just think it's so funny because like every every single time without fail, you're like, okay, uh uh files like the, the amp state is charged. Let me go ahead and put on my temporal mantle, let me clutch call into Fatalis' face, and then you immediately turn yeah. to the cat and start talking to It's the same with do blades. With do blades, you start you start blade dancing. When you blade oh, yeah, dance, there's nothing you can do, right? right? You, can, you can only yeah. try press a, X and A together. So what's up? And then I will chat. <laughs> X and A. No, All right, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do at that point? I mean, I, okay, there's nothing what else. happens? Happens. Interaction. It's either I did it at the right time and I don't get hit, or I did it at the wrong time and I get hit. Like, exactly. I might as well talk to chat. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I, I... And the funny thing is that when I was having Hunter Pie, I was still seeing that my damage was up to par so what what yeah, did i just say I'm, fine. <laughs> I'm still alive i have oh, I health all right we're good off. let's keep oh. <laughs> <laughs> for as long as oh, i'm carrying myself i'm happy i don't care oh yeah it's fine she's keeping up she's good oh, yes. <laughs> that people. being said oh yeah that being said I, I would love to find a game that is like that i think final fantasy 14 could be something like that it's uh, does seem like a very community-based game oh it's but i can yeah. yeah i cannot find myself having a lot of fun i really like action games and yeah. i just there is there is is an mmo that is supposed to be coming out in the future called blue protocol it went in it went into alpha back in 2019 they did it like an mm -hmm. uh, like an alpha test um it was a closed alpha you had to sign up for it they did like maybe 10,000 people it was a really small test this game looks like anime and fights like monster hunter and it looks cool as shit and uh i have been waiting patiently but like when 2020 came around and like covid hit the production company stopped oh. working on it entirely oh, entirely oh my god yeah, blue protocol is a game i'm looking forward to yep. blue protocol yep. is an mmo style with with action combat like one-to-one -one action combat or skill-based action combat right and uh like it, it plays similarly to like uh terra right um but terra has its own problems so we this don't, will, we don't talk this about will that. be the game that is basically if you want like any representation representation if you want a game that makes you feel like you're in um, sort of online because people, everyone's looking yes. for that game. That's the perfect game. That would be Pooh yeah. Protocol. I feel like no, and the 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 alpha play was like really, really in depth. Like they made like um like you could level up to forty. They made level forty dungeons for it. Um, you could grind for things that you were going to keep in the game when the game came out. Like it was it was intense. So that's the game that I keep looking out for because the moment that comes out. Everything's on the back burner, and I'm playing that. But we still don't know what the... What we, the there's no more uh, release date anymore. No, nothing, okay. They Which, had to pause production on it entirely. It was slotted yeah. to come out in uh, Japan in 2020, and then uh, worldwide in 2022. I'm Literally glad two years later. video I'm games are too. not giving out release dates anymore. <laughs> Oh, they had a release date. They aren't giving a release date out anymore because production yeah, on it stopped. It well, would be yeah, but I mean, like it, put out something. Yeah, but it was looking like it was going to be like um, finished at that point. At, with yeah, what they, they were... had a release date set yeah. up. Like they they had a release date and they had to rescind it because COVID. Yeah. they had to stop working on the game. 
I'm just glad that they decided just like, you know what, we're just not gonna release it right now. We'll let you know when it's almost done, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah it looked like Genshin. Talked about that a couple times, yeah, like exactly. Not, it's, it's 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 kind of nice, you know. It's it, it's a little more transparent about like the production of the game because you can kind of gauge your your expectation on it a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, when it comes to video games lately, it has been a mess about release dates and like transparency. <laughs> Those are uh, yeah. I, speaking I, I, of transparency. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Twitch. Oof. Big oof. <laughs> what about it? Well, I mean, we recently <laughs> had the uh, day off Twitch situation happen, and uh-huh. uh, I'm gonna put my perspective on it, and mm-hmm. I want to let no one hear you guys' perspective on it as well. There's like a few videos I've been looking at, like of people talking about this. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't think they give a fuck. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I think. <laughs> Like, because a day off Twitch is not going to change anything. Because oh. resubs are still happening. They're still getting the same money as they ever have been. And it was only, like, a, what, like a million decrease? Like, it was a, it was a dramatic difference on the, um, the charts that say, like, this is how many people, less people are watching that day. But in terms of money, which is what they care about, it doesn't make a difference. That is true. Remember though that every every movement starts with the first step, and this was yeah, like the this first is the step first step. Movement. And then Tim the Tatman and, so, and Doctor Lupo also moved to YouTube, which is mm-hmm. huge. Completely I separate. I it is two separate. Yeah, say. it is completely separate. I, I was just saying in general. But yeah, what? I have two, two things that I think um, worked of uh, you know a day of Twitch. Uh, the first thing is it, it's more about informing people. Yeah. of what's going on and it, it it worked because for example i didn't know what a hate raid was and me neither. because I, I me or any of my friends or streamers that i know have been hit by one luckily uh so i didn't know about that at all and i've been and now i know i started following some streamers that are very vocal about it i try to support marginalized streamers that i didn't know so i for me, it worked on me, yeah. and I'm sure that it worked on other people as well. Now, maybe yeah. I am very sensitive about this topic, so I am a good target. <laughs> but I'm sure there are plenty of good targets out there that have been, uh, you know, informed about this. So, when it comes to that, it worked. And the second thing is sponsors. Sponsors are very, very, very touchy when it comes to <clears throat> the far right <laughs> movements and their brand being associated. So I mm-hmm. saw a lot of people. Uh, tagging brands, which is very d- scary, by the way, because things like the apocalypse on YouTube started by that. But <laughs> there mm. were people informing the brands that these kind of things are happening. So, like, you see a uh, uh, freaking Coca Cola happening, <laughs> like, on screen, and then on the right, you see, you know, yeah, all slurs, the comments, all right, yeah. Hate comments, yeah. hate raids happening. And those things are, like, especially when the brands don't really understand 100% what's going on <laughs> they mm-hmm. will see coca-cola and far-right movements on twitch like and the three things and, get associated yeah. you know mm-hmm. and they react so i think that those two things are a good point and it's, it was more about making noise than it was about making a very uh, a difference yeah I think uh, that being said that i way. did see I did see some streamers uh, deleting their their affiliate contract. I saw some streamers promoting other ways to to give them money through Streamlabs, for example, the, the monthly the mm-hmm. monthly subscription thing on Streamlabs. Which, by the way, you get 100% of the cut, so I understand mm. why they would do that. That being minus said, minus, huh? minus yes, minus yeah. PayPal fee, which is not 50%, though. No, it's like, ooh, and I still get that cut no when I get paid by Twitch, so. <laughs> that goes on top but that yeah. being said i they they i think that they did something and if they didn't do something it was still important and it's still something that oh, I, i'm happy that i took part in yeah. even though it, it did a monetary effect to twitch for now same here in that um, in that perspective i agree like absolutely yeah. like that and i, I want to see what brands are gonna do if they don't do anything i'm sad but <laughs> i mm. i think that the approach was okay because again to, for example youtube was very uh, very much affected by this exact thing where <laughs> oh, brands yeah. were extremely scared of being associated with hate of any form and 
you know, maybe it's going to happen again. I saw it them tagging. I, I feel like Twitch is going to go into that route. And I, and to be honest, I hope it does. I really do. Because, like, right now, YouTube is in the best state it has been in a very long time. And uh, because of everything that's happened, it's, like, it, it grew to, like, morph into what it is now. And ads understand... I don't even do huh? I like YouTube as it oh, is yeah. now. I agree. Like YouTube is great right now. Like they have like YouTube Shorts. They have like different ways to grow. Like the like there's so many ways to grow on YouTube right now. It's insane. Um, the only and... thing that I would say about YouTube, since we're just talking about that really quick, I'll interject here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is the streaming platform for YouTube is leaves a lot to be desired, um, <laughs> because they have no way to consistently find live channels. You could literally search the person's exact title and still get recommendations for videos and not live streams. That's very true too. And that's what makes me like a little skeptical about discoverability on YouTube. But then there's also like you get recommended from other live channels all the time whenever I watch YouTube. Like there's mm -hmm. always like live channels are on the side. So in terms of the discoverability in that way, um, you would get discovered a lot more than you would on Twitch. I think directly speaking, if you build an audience on one social, you are somehow also building an audience on other socials. So you can oh, yeah, also right. use YouTube just as a video yeah. platform as it is. Exactly. I, I was thinking about it as well, by the way. I was thinking of moving on, on, on YouTube, uh, but to do something that is completely different from what I do on Twitch. Um, and it's very related to what I wrote on, on Twitter about uh, the other day about not being able to be um, open about my views on things on twitch yeah. uh, because i don't think it's the right platform so i was no. considering yeah. or the right audience YouTube, yeah, or the, the right, right audience. audience exactly i was considering moving on youtube for that but it's a lot of work it's scary but it, on, on it the is. internet it's always like that i mean you guys are more experienced than me as content creators but i it, it's really scary to start on your platform because it, it is energies that you spend and they are they can be relatively like thrown to the wind <laughs> if it doesn't work right yeah. and it, so it's a lot scary it's an investment that it, it can either go yeah. really good or really bad or mediocre I mean, but anytime you try to pull an audience from one platform to another you can expect less than 50 percent to actually follow you yeah you know I, I mean, I, a lot of your audience is absent right and that's fine on that thing I, I i wouldn't be too bad for me because as i said it would be completely different content but that being said right it, it's more about not even be able to you know build an audience to begin with which is i mean it's a problem everybody starting on on a platform like a new stream have, have we oh, had yeah. the same problem when we started on twitch i'm sure so really we've all have been know. there you really have to know how to take advantage of youtube's you know platform too like i mean scoy we were talking about this what is it um you get three notifications a week for yep. uploads no three notifications a day Oh, a day. No, no, so, no, like, you can, you can use three notifications a day. So, like, you can post a, a community posts, uploads, shorts, all count as notifications. Oh, all count as notifications. Okay, so not, yeah, not just uploads. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, like, even, even that, you get three of those a day. So, you really have to know how to use those. I've uploaded on YouTube before six videos in one day. The, yeah, there, and that's, there go my three notifications. <laughs> oh, but those are also like that's not like real content that's like yeah. you know vod library it really doesn't it doesn't really matter um yeah it was not that but but it's it's tools like that it's understanding tools like that that help you take advantage of of the platform and when they all operate a little bit differently you know it, it makes that difficult not impossible but just just difficult but i mean even just the the I don't know, just the streaming platform on YouTube right now. Like I literally, my friend, I literally got the going live notification for my friend. I clicked on it and it took me to his channel to watch a video and not his like live stream. It's like, that, what the hell is happening? Well, it's, it's not just that YouTube notifications are weird sometimes like, uh, uh, mm -hmm. but like, uh, it's not only just that, like for me, like I want to wait a little longer before I, uh, would even think about switching uh, to YouTube. If oh, I yeah. were, if I were to go to streaming on YouTube, uh, there's like there's no rating, there's no uh, gift subs. Correct. Uh, there's no. There's no emotes. There's, there, are, there are emotes, but I think you have are to unlock. Emotes? Yeah, I think you have to unlock them at some point. It's very for me whenever I go to the emote section for the chat for like live chat and everything. Uh, it, it's a little bit laggy, like it's slow. Mm. So that's why I'm like very, poorly optimized. It's a little bit poorly optimized, like in turn, like but everything else, like is perfect with YouTube, like that you can have it as you can stream at whatever quality setting you want because you can literally stream at 4K and it'll be fine because yeah. you can change whatever quality you want to. 
Um, What's really nice too is 1080p, uh, 60 FPS, 9,000 bit rate mm -hmm. instead of the, the 6,000 that we're limited to on Twitch. Yeah. But it's really 550 or 5,500. 5, yeah. Well, what I'm trying to get to is like, uh, I don't, for me personally, I don't know if I'll ever <laughs> stream on YouTube, but like, I would love to see like more changes, which I think is definitely mm -hmm. going to happen for YouTube gaming before I even think about. I yeah. saw some mm, opinions about this, and I don't know what you guys think about it, but no, um, they were saying that <laughs> no, you don't think about. It. <laughs> I don't think about. It. No, on Twitch, some people say that Twitch is gonna die eventually because it's a platform that is not. Um, it, it's specialized only on streaming, and all the other platforms are adopting streaming and they are making it better and better with time but they are also offering other things so it is the same point of view as on youtube you will find long videos but you will find shorts uh but you will find community posts so you kind of have all the elements of a social media mm -hmm. uh and you also have streaming and so when streaming is going to be better on youtube someone would want to focus on youtube because on the same platform you get everything instead of only having one thing yeah, and to get to that point yeah it could get to that point, honestly. Even even freaking TikTok has a just streaming platform. Like, why would someone mm -hmm. go on Twitch that only has streaming instead of focusing on TikTok? That you would have, you know, the regular TikTok content. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't go personally on TikTok only, but if someone wants, <laughs> you would have the regular TikTok content and also the ability of streaming as well. Oh yeah, and maybe all of the things. So I I don't I don't know. I think it is a good point to be honest. So mm -hmm. I. I I wouldn't completely rule out the possibility of moving you to YouTube at some point. I think it would be a, a big hit uh, on, you mm -hmm. know, on your community at some because not everyone is willing to to go. Even for Ninja, it was a problem to switch yeah. to another. <laughs> like, imagine how I mean, bad audience it would be wise, it was a smaller problem. streamers. Money wise, it wasn't right. They were literally handing. Yeah, no, money wise, absolutely not. But that, that audience, yeah. you know, and the because... same thing with with Tim, and the same yes. thing with Doctor Lupo, right? Like that's absolutely they're literally but handing because... money to like sacrifice that. <laughs> absolutely, but because our audience is also yeah, like if we lose the audience, we what we have, what do we have left? Like nothing. Yeah. So like definitely would be a problem for us. <laughs> but I I understand that com like conversation about the fact that Twitch is. A little, it could become a little obsolete this at some point. Is, this is my whole. I always, I always, always do this, right? Because like, it's the, it's a facet of life. The grass is always greener on the other side. From okay. us looking next door, YouTube looks amazing because we don't see the the YouTube gaming and YouTube streaming is not as developed as it is on Twitch. Right, oh, definitely. The moment you, like you can literally Google search the word streaming and Twitch comes up first every Absolutely. single time so there's there's a brand made here they have a process here it's 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 made and it's established mm -hmm. um but the grass is always greener i always 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 like i've been doing a lot of research into this too because i was you know thinking about that like if i was gonna make the change now would be the time to do it probably before i tried to grow any more than i already am and you know to, to try to think about that but you know like Scoy said like those those resources and those tools that we enjoy on twitch like rating and like the the community aspect of it just doesn't exist absolutely. on youtube yet and uh but i mean sarah is absolutely correct too like if it's just a streaming platform eventually it will be ousted by something else larger than itself i i don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon personally uh -huh. but in the next five years i could i could definitely see twitch not being as popular as it is today or even existing right um but the competition is always good because that's also goes under the assumption that twitch won't change and we don't know what they're doing because twitch is literally one of the least transparent companies that anyone has ever you know operated with like they do not like talking about what they're doing they like to have big surprises you know they like to announce things the day of like starting today you know you get these like things and these tools like that that's great you know, but what about these plethora of problems, right? Which they like to, for some reason, announce things the day that they have a solution for them. Don't do that, man. Just communicate with us a little bit better, mm -hmm. right? And it, it's, it is one of those grass is greener things because like YouTube isn't encountering that problem right now. Also, How would, would they that address that? 
YouTubers complain about the same thing. Like I saw exactly. thousands of YouTubers saying the same yeah. problem, which is that the platform is not transparent with what they're doing, especially in the ages of the apocalypse. Like everybody was like, oh, yeah. what the, I don't know what I'm not supposed to say on, on stream or well, on, I mean, on video. I feel like YouTube is way more um, upfront with what they're doing than, and like than Twitch is like really, because it's just like, better. Well, they they got okay. a lot better, like really, like they've had like even like really huge YouTubers. Like there was one person, Markiplier, he was Mar he was guy getting copyright strikes for things, and he reached out to YouTube. He's like, "What is going on?" Like he he was like being like really serious, and they were mm -hmm. just like, "Oh, so he talked with like the CEO of YouTube." <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but he because he's Markiplier. He well, yeah, gets to exactly. Talk to you. But like he, I, mean, I, I will say this: when you were when when you when you have partnership, your your help desk stuff gets answered same day. Yeah. So like every single every single help desk ticket that I've put in has been answered same day. So like you you get that privilege when you when you gain that you know that foothold on on the platform. Twitch can be responsive. Twitch chooses not to be. But I I. I just want to call it out though, right? I mean, I don't want us to forget about the fact that previously and still to this day, um, LGBTQIA plus labeled content on YouTube is still getting demonetized just for being LGBTQIA plus. Mm. Like that's still happening. Remember how that was a big thing back in 2018 and 2019? That's just still going on and YouTube hasn't fixed it. And you know, they've, they've just kind of done has been like international problems. I didn't hear about it. I gotta. I, I'm gonna, that I'm has been a thing before. I watch a lot of. That's been a thing that. for years now. Yeah. But just like every problem on the internet, it gets a really vocal minority. It becomes a problem on the platform, and then it vanishes. And that's something that's gonna happen here too with with this movement, unfortunately, with the hate raids and stuff like that. Which is why, which is why, like people like Wreck It Raven and the people that are in front of this thing are trying to push for change now before it loses the momentum on social media. It has so much following on social media right now on Twitch and on Twitter and on YouTube and everywhere that they want to take this momentum now to get a change done mm -hmm. because yeah. in a month, no one's gonna care anymore no. because the attention span of this audience is. It's small. It's, it's it, you know, like my attention span. I can barely concentrate on this thought. It takes so much effort. But, you go back to speed running. I, no, you go back now, to the... now I'm back doing my my Xeno percent in my brain. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, this is this is the thing that I say about the grass is greener because you know someone will go on someone will sacrifice their career on 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 twitch and go over to youtube and be like hey guys like i am you know a lgbt lgbtqia plus uh friendly streamer and like i want to tag all my streams and all that stuff and then they're just gonna get demonetized by youtube the entire time every video that they produce every stream that they produce everything will just get demonetized uh or at least have the potential to right even like the same copyright problems every like it's all it all happens in the same place. Like that's that's the thing. I'm not saying that YouTube is the is the worst platform and like we can't we can't work on it. I'm saying YouTube has its problems too, it's and the grass is always greener, issue. especially right now. But I mean, all, all the bigger content creators will always say it, and will always say like you know differentiate the content. So you gotta well, yeah, be you should, you should be using multiple social media platforms to reach an audience, right? You should diversify your content to reach a broader audience. Like you know, no one's saying But don't it also is because YouTube. if something happens on that platform you still have everything else. Correct. But this is this is the thing too is um you know we are all under the same um partnership agreement. We cannot publish or stream content to both Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Um, it, uh, Twitch, claims a, Twitch claims a 24 claims a 24-hour um, you know, exclusivity to your streaming content. So even 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 to that, like the platforms are designed in a way to kind of separate themselves. So you do have to create different content for each platform. And you know, I mean, Skoy, that's what you're doing right now. Like you're you're doing your your discussion videos, and and you know you were doing the uh, the rise videos. You're diversifying your content between t uh, Twitch and YouTube, so they are separate. A, a TikTok sensation as well. He's a TikTok sensation. I Look him up. In he's two got weeks. <laughs> he's got all of these. Oh, we were busy. We busy. Uh, Final but, uh, busy as in like playing Final Fantasy and just 
I'm yeah. my life in it. I'm doing yeah. all this stuff for the podcast too. Gamer Breakfast is 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 the is the big thing right now, right? We'll like everyone, everyone's talking dollars. about it. <laughs> a big sensation. I'm not but a big sensation. sensation. <laughs> <laughs> That's more followers That's... than I have on TikTok. I have two. But you speaking of the I think Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> But speaking of what, what were you saying about Twitch uh, separating um, as a platform from the others, it's also the problem that uh, Twitch, um, can I say, rewards streaming for a lot of hours. It, it rewards that a lot. So a yeah. lot of streamers feel compelled to stream like at least five days a week for at least five hours, which mm-hmm. is a lot of time. <laughs> which is a lot, yeah. a lot of time. And you... I, I, personally speaking, if I do keep that schedule up, there's no way that I have time to live the rest of my life and also make content for other platforms. Like, there's no, no way. Exhausting. <laughs> I, I, yeah, exactly. I don't know how you do it, Scottish personally. I, it's mad. That's the difference in intent, though, right? Because, like, there, there are different creators on the platform. There are people that are doing this just because they want something to do. Like, they just, they just want to stream, right? There are people that are doing this to become like the next uh, uh, XQC or Hassan Abi or, you know, Markiplier or whatever. Like they're, yeah. they're trying to become that next person. So your your effort that you put into this is going to, to vastly change. Oh, yeah. Um, depending on, I think on there what is you're no, trying to do. There's not enough time in the day. <laughs> if you have a job or anything else. Well, that's, that's not... the thing is because they expect you to quit your your daily obligations and make Twitch your daily obligation when you get to that point. But getting to that point is incredibly difficult. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's like uh, you gotta sacrifice. Oh. At the end, you gotta sacrifice the time you stream and mm-hmm. content and create that content well. for the it, platform. It's like very back and forth because it's just like uh, my perspective is from what I've heard from people. Like I've talked super rad about this. As well, it's just like um, making content on other platforms is possibly the best way to grow on Twitch. Yeah, it's true. As sad as it is. But, like, um. Hello? <laughs> yes. You're good. No, my brain mm-hmm. just, like, flat. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Once again, that IRL buffer. Yeah. Like I said, our attention spans are short. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I had this TikTok. whole speech ready. I was like, fuck. Here we go. <laughs> uh, no, but. <laughs> But like, it, it, it takes a lot of time to create content on the platforms, and when you take that time and you just like, all right, I'm gonna like only do like two or three streams this week. I'm gonna focus on my the rest of my time on YouTube. Um, it, it's it's a lot. Like, what if you like don't have that video really pop off or really do well? Then mm-hmm. it's about uh, the same before. Yeah, exactly. That's why. That's why for right now, usually whenever I have like I write I write the script and I read out loud, and then I usually have um. Uh, someone that's an editor to like handle that and uh, put that together and post it because because for me at least um since i'm not really getting paid much from youtube at all like and i i'm not sure if the video is going to do well at all um so then i won't be down in that that the pit of like not despair but like i the video didn't do well and i put all this time into it and then it's mm-hmm. the result like instead of like being yeah. in that position uh, I will just like write the script, read the script, send the uh, footage and everything to the editor. They handle it, and I continue my. Story. So then I can still like, uh, get paid a decent amount from Twitch, and still like retain my audience. Uh, that I. Yeah. That being said, um, it's also it's like a. It's a gamble, but it is. It's a really big if gamble. You, if you think about it, if you decide to stream one day instead of posting a video on youtube like how what are the chances that your stream pop off like randomly in one stream yeah. like it's impossible it's not gonna happen like on twitch you know it's a grind it's not like you one day get just super popular out of even if you it, get a super big raid out of nowhere it's it also happen, impossible yeah but it, it, i saw a lot That's of people a v- getting like huge raids yeah keeping that it's an odd thing like oh, yeah. it, oh, you'll 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 maintain less than one percent of that audience absolutely yeah, like, yeah. like anytime someone raids i always assume that that one percent of them will stay you yeah. know 
Yeah. But then being said, uh, so a YouTube video is more potential. Like, it's a lot of potential. It, it cannot do anything. But also your stream most likely will do not would not do anything. Like you maybe will meet two new viewers that are gonna stay there with you and they are awesome and that's great. But if we're talking about numbers and not value, <laughs> when it comes to numbers, YouTube has more potential than Twitch with just one video. Because you yeah. never know that that video is gonna be the one that actually, you know, goes exactly. viral or anything. No, yeah. So so that being said, I'm still streaming and not doing anything on YouTube, so I might have to <laughs> said it done. Absolutely said it done. I 100% get absolute blasting anxiety if I stream four days instead of five days. Imagine streaming three. <laughs> so I absolutely am bad when it comes to applying this thing that I'm well, saying. That's, but that's logically that... speaking, YouTube is better. Yeah. Oh, it's better yeah. to invest time on TikTok or YouTube or whatever other platform that actually has 100%. a discovery. You just need to diversify yourself. You need exactly. to stretch yourself out across multiple things because it, it's just like advertising, right? <laughs> like a, a company will advertise on billboards, on television, on the internet. You know, they'll send a thing to your house. They're diversifying the way that, that you are engaged with them yeah you know? also also if you appear on other socials you're not disappearing so even if you're not no, yeah, streaming, exactly. like, the people yeah. that are following you on other socials are still seeing your content yeah. seeing you yeah, around yeah, exactly. you're going away from the world so exactly. it, it is we should get we should get in that mindset because i am not in that mindset i yeah. just something <laughs> things that i wanted to <laughs> yeah something i wanted to circle back on that you said sarah it's like you know it, the the platform really does benefit people that that stream five days a week five hours you know it, I I agree with that, um, but the other thing that it does re reward too, if you can't stream that long, is consistency. I have like fallen back into this into this point, um, you know, because like during in twenty twenty when we were all in lockdown and quarantine was a thing, I was able to work from home, so I was actually able to stream like five or six hours an evening. I can't do that anymore. I can maybe get four hours in on a stream now because I have to wake back up the next morning and go to work. You know, before I was staying up to like 2 a.m., waking up at 7, checking my email, and then sleeping until 11. Like, it was great. I loved it. Um, but um, consistency still is rewarded on the platform. So, like, if you are streaming consistently Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday for four hours, that consistency even in itself is is a reward on the platform. You know, I, I personally think for growth that a four-hour stream is like the best thing that you can hit. It's just it's just long enough to get your to get your consistent community there and present and watching, and it's just long enough to like start actually making recommendations m matter, and it's just long enough to actually hold a viewership to make it count, you know, towards your average. Because like I, you know, the first hour of stream is is always the worst. Like any streamer that looks at their analytics, it's like I had I had fifty viewers like today, but my average is only a thirty five. It's like, yeah, because for the first hour I had fifteen average. Like yeah. shit. You know, and like that that always hurts. Um, which for those of you that are doing a partner push, this is what I recommend you do is post five minutes before you go live. That's what I was doing and it actually made a big difference. My starting numbers, I started at twenty versus starting at zero. Post five minutes before you go live and ask your community to be there. There's no, there's no wrong reason to shell out yourself if you're on a partner push. Do it. Make it about the community, not about yourself. That's what I did. It worked. If you're on that position, like if you, if you're yeah, like that's at twenty viewers. <laughs> oh yeah, no. If you're like I'm saying, like if you're on that partner push, right? Yeah. Like that, that was just a strategy that that actually worked out really well for me. That helped push my numbers up a little bit. You know. It, there's small things that you can do. Like I, I know someone that was going live on TikTok a half hour before he would go live and then bring the entire TikTok community that was live with him over to his stream. It's like yeah. 200 people. So you'd start the stream with like 150. Yeah. But just like, like that. Usually it, when you hit 10 K on TikTok, that's when you start going. Live. So it's like, yeah, uh, you hit a thousand or I, I don't know. I'm sure. Like you can start posting links. You can have a link on your from page that says they. they Whoa, could, a link. Like, yeah, I mean that, that's huge though. <laughs> so you yeah. can have that link go to a page. So that, that that's just like that for me on my page. My link goes to my Twitter. But um, yeah, what I plan on doing when I like when I get to the point where I can hit 10k on TikTok, I'm definitely mm -hmm. gonna like like you mentioned, go live in TikTok for like 30 minutes, just bullshit and talk about random stuff, and then yeah. like be like, all right, we're gonna go on Twitch. Come here with us and uh, do yeah. it like that. Yeah, that's a great idea. I agree. <laughs> but yeah, that, that being said, I, I hope I will, I will find the strength to do everything that I just said uh, <laughs> myself Don't. and stream less. 
because it, what what Beagle was saying that is oh yeah it's gonna um, it, consistency is rewarded that is true mm -hmm. but it should be used to stream less <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. and and differentiate your content another thing is that i was saying before at lunch i was talking about this yeah. and i was talking about the fact that i would like to um, in, uh, to start youtube and i was thinking about creating a content that i would enjoy making yeah. which is really hard to say because i know it's always like have all easy to say but then when you're actually struggling to finish a video you, you're gonna start hating it oh but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna always start hating it but if i have if i am talking about something that i am satisfied about talking and everything i hopefully will not focus too much on the reward you know in terms of views or, con or you know exposure and i will hopefully be content with what i did but it's again it's easier said than done because like, i'm it's sure always easier said, it than, done. It's it's always easier easier said than, done. than done like if you i'm uh, sure that's not to make it i'm just gonna i like, oh, would for uh your sake if you're like wanting to get involved and stuff i would definitely recommend starting off with tiktok first because it's very short content you can very you can yeah. make it very easily and not like that exactly 10 seconds like my two most popular clips have like they're they're not even like 15 seconds long and very short yeah but what i'm trying to get to is that like you can even take those videos and you could post them on instagram reels you could post them on youtube shorts you can use the same content no one's gonna give a shit that's a and tweet yeah you do tweet yeah and you can just post it on the other platforms at the same time and you just it's there i have something extremely i mean it's it, i mean I, you're completely right on this but on the other hand i do i'm sad with the tiktok content because it's a 15 seconds video like if you if you think about what i would like to talk about which is serious topics yeah. 15 seconds as you can mm, say things but it's always like it's like the problem i was saying with twitter before you cannot really say everything you cannot be mm -hmm. you cannot go in depth into an, a topic as much as you would like to on tiktok and i i don't like it. it would it would be i would probably be able to say something that i would be happy about but i wouldn't be as satisfied as i would think i would be if i did you know youtube video like then a freaking video essay or something right yeah. i would be happy about that even though it maybe it doesn't do well but i would be happy about making it no video essays do amazing better. on youtube because this is a they're beginning really great. yeah there's they're a beginning good. middle and end there's there's structure there's like yeah there's everything that's what i'm just like starting to get my uh my toes into. yeah it, it's like one of those middle age crises where you start writing a book it's the same thing for me <laughs> Like I, you, you don't, you don't expect that to actually be successful. You do it before to do it, and I think I, I want to do that on yeah. YouTube as well. Something else that you to can't say do though. That. You yeah, well, something satisfied. else to say about that that kind of content on on TikTok though is that it's it's all about your intent with TikTok, and for people like us who are primar primarily focused on Twitch, it is an advertisement for our Twitch. Mm -hmm. You know, it is a it is an is an excerpt to get people to click on the link to come and watch our content somewhere else. And a lot of people do that. I, there, are, there are so many TikToks that I scroll past that are like, look at this funny moment. Okay, now come watch me on Twitch or like check out my YouTube video. Yeah, They're advertisements. They don't do well on TikTok, but they do pull people's attention, you know? They do. And that's one of the reasons why I'm like kind of like stuck on TikTok right yeah. now because I'm trying to figure out because I'm thinking about like, all right, I want to start making skits about MMO shit because that's like I'm, I'm playing Final Fantasy right now. I shit ton. So I'm just like, okay, I think it'll be fun if I do like some skits about it. I have no idea how to go about it right now, but I'll figure it out. Well, yeah, play the game more and you'll you'll kind of understand it a little bit better and yeah. like what people's gripes and like you'll have a funny moment on stream that you'll want to turn into a skit, right? There's nothing wrong with recreating a moment from stream and, you know, hyperbolizing it. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Uh, the only thing is that I I lose interest in that in the long term. Like I I it, I agree. It, it feels <laughs> yeah. It feels like Attention you're doing fan. it. Yeah, it feels like you're doing something just to get a, you know something back. Which I mean, it's yeah. Why we do most of the things, but <laughs> in that in that Part specific the situation, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in that specific situation, it is like creating brain dead content to get mm -hmm. some viewers back, right? And it. As much as it 
does work so do it obviously if you if you have the strength to do it it's absolutely fine you should yeah. do it but personally speaking i would get tired or i get like i feel like obligated to do it because i i know that it's the only way to get exposure or everything but it's it doesn't feel like something that i would do naturally like i wouldn't naturally take a clip of my stream or search a clip and edit it and post it because i did it only for the purpose of advertising and i just get tired doing it I oh just, yeah it, i focus it's... on the numbers i focus on things that don't make me happy let's say like that i hate to so. be this person i hate to be this person yeah no, go ahead my uber, my uber just showed up oh, okay, <laughs> oh god right. i hate to no, be this person so no, no, i no. i have to go yes yes if you want to keep going or we can end it right no. here i'd say we can end okay, it right here. Okay. 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 Uh, two hours yeah no, that was that was two hours <laughs> and we could we could keep talking for sarah for another two hours and maybe we will Oh yeah, we'll definitely... <laughs> again. Huh? Yeah, oh so, yeah. Like so, oh, of course, of we, course, of course. We plan oh, doing no, no, like... I'm gonna do this. You were not. I'm gonna go away. You were not inviting me again. Okay. Well, we will. <laughs> <laughs> um so i i have to i have to end this like right now so i'm I gonna do this really it. quick of course sarah yeah. thank you thank you so thank very much for for, for joining us me. i'm sorry that i had to like end this right now but i i called my uber and they got here like a lot faster um yes. than than i expected so i i have to like go asap um sarah if people want thank to you. watch and listen to more of you ranting about things that you enjoy and love where could they do that at uh, it was twitch.tv slash sarah underscore robin that was everything. the worst plug i've ever did <laughs> everything will be her, linked in the description below, be below because yeah everything will be linked in the you description. can find her you can find her on on twitch and on twitter she has a buno and she and he is perfect i have a buno and it's very important yes man. um say hi thank to you everyone for <laughs> watching and listening today uh, I'm sorry that I had to cut it short because we could have gone for another hour, man, easily. Oh, probably, um, yeah. I just haven't eaten yet either. I, so. <laughs> yeah. So, I love you all. Love and you have a have a great breakfast. Enjoy. <laughs> Get your game Enjoy your breakfast. <laughs> Enjoy your vacation, by the way, Beagle. Yeah, thank you. I will. Bye. All right, most of all right, you guys. Bye. bye. I'm, I'm running away now. Bye-bye. Running, running away. It's going.